Start streaming. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the original Next Level Gaming Podcast. Welcome in on a Sunday night. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey. Yo. Hey, it's going on. All right. We are live. Live, 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 live. There's no Game of Thrones on tonight, I understand, so there should be no reason why our friends can't come join us tonight. And uh, we have a special guest. He is in the center the center square. The center square. The center square. <laughs> Joan, it's Joan Rivers. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Who used to be that center square before her, though? I forget. I Man, it's um, going back. I know. I'm going to look it up. But he is the man, the myth, the legend. He is our good friend, Jez. Jez7780. What's up, brother? How you doing, guys? Long time oh, come on, to Jez. talk. Yeah. Yeah. Straight from Brooklyn. You've been on vacation. Straight from Brooklyn. Yeah, I came back from vacation. Disney yeah. Cruise, man. It was I great. Mean, you know, welcome back. It's kind of like a curse, you know, but yeah, I get you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good time to come back because that's all the games I can catch up on. So, all it's the been a hot couple out. weeks. Yeah, yeah, you know, we got a lot to talk mm. about tonight. So, yeah, we're yeah. glad you made it. So, yes, and thank uh, you. new newly minted with your uh, PlayStation Pro over the summer. Yes, newly minted. Yeah, crowned uh, with a PlayStation Pro, and uh, yeah, I've been playing all those games that I missed out for the last three years. There, owning and owning an Xbox. Hey, so, man. It's yeah. I mean, stuff. it's nice. It's nice because you can pick up those games like. For cheap, you know. And yeah, well, that's what I did. More bang for right. the buck, yeah. Yeah, man, those games are like nineteen dollars, and I got them for like the Best Buy discount. So yeah, I picked up nice. all those games. Yeah. Well, and if you're lucky enough, your local library might have some too. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, right? So, yeah. No, it's mine like does. Mine does. My library really? has yes. My library has PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3 games. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mine has mine zero. Too. Yeah. You yeah. Got it. Check it out. It's, it's you got some movies in mine, but like man, you got like a GameStop in yours. <laughs> well, you don't have all the greatest <laughs> stuff, but yeah, they have everything below mature. They have a I section. Have seen, I have seen Wii games and some 3DS games in one of the libraries, like the bigger one. I've seen some of those, but oh yeah, they've got Wii games there too. Yeah, I've seen that. I haven't seen any. Uh, well, in some 360 games, but I haven't seen the new ones, like the, the Xbox One and PlayStation Four. I have to see what's current. I haven't been there in a while. I've been, I haven't been, I've been playing old stuff, but now I haven't bought anything new in a while since. I'll, I'll give you a tip. You know what I found? I, I follow this website, cheapassgamer.com. It's a great website, and they do all the deals and stuff. And you yeah. know that Redbox actually sells used games, like for sometimes they have cheap. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can check the inventory of all the different Redboxes to see if you want to pick it up. That's like they tight. had, um, what was it? Uh, the game was it? The uh, the oh the the one that was made by the Vol- Volition guys. The uh, oh, are the you X. talking about uh, Hardline or Dead Space? No, I'm sorry. The the one that um the guys that made Saints Row. Oh, they made that. Oh yes, yeah. um, I forgot. Uh, uh, Agents of Mayhem, right? Yeah, that right. game's like twenty bucks, like used from games, like from the Red Box, like yeah. a week or two later. Yeah, but I <laughs> that was your cheap ass gamer. Yeah, cheapassgamer.com. Yeah, and they've got a Twitter account I follow too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I started following. Yeah, I GBD. started following that Twitter account on you. Yeah, mm-hmm. GBD man, those guys are great. They 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 list all the flyers the, the week before of all the games and stuff. Yeah. Did they also get things like the like the GameStop exploit, if you want to call it that or whatever? Yes. yes. Yeah, oh I yeah. That too. And then and then they have forums where everybody like kind of shares like their tricks and stuff like that. And some people like even put like a GameStop like certificate that has a barcode that might be reused. And it's like your market may vary. And you find some crazy deals if you want to just get like if you're just a, a collector of games like you want to play everything like I am. I live on that website just to try 
you know, to p- play those games and see which one's going sale. Cool. Nice. Nice. Well, nice. man. Well, so can. what happens? Do, you, do, you, do they send you the case afterwards or do you get a caseless game? I don't know. I, I haven't I have not bought from it. I just checked. The, you could check the inventory on their app, and you could buy the games used. And I guess they must just give you the game in the cartridge, sort of like old school, like blockbuster style. Oh, okay. That you don't get the actual casing. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, like with GameFly, for instance, if you do, uh, you know, <laughs> they'll send you the sale, and, they they yeah. send you the, the actual case. That yeah. yeah. And right. the booklets the back in the and day. the booklets. Yeah. Now there's no booklets. Now the like. Yeah. Go online. Exactly. Nice. Well, great information. Now, nowadays, nowadays with certain games, when you buy them in the store, you don't even get a disc. It's just yeah. a code. Right. That's going to be the next new thing. You I see hope that it's even, two? even the collector's items aren't coming with discs anymore. I, the yeah. Destiny 2 PC game was like a, um, it was a, uh, a piece of paper cut out, a cardboard cut out as a disc, and it had the code <laughs> printed on it. Yeah, <laughs> funny. See, I'm, see that, I'm good with that because I like to be digital. I know people like to have the boxes and the discs, but I like that convenience of not having to go put the disc in the machine. So yeah, if, the, yeah. if the future, if the way they get around that, that future of uh, uh, physical is by putting the codes in the box, I'm, I'm down with that. Yeah, and then especially with the discounts, like Best Buy and stuff with the uh, 20% that's, off. That's, right. Yeah, that's how I do it. Yeah, that's why I buy a lot of physical stuff with that. Yeah, okay. like I pre-ordered a PUBG for 20% off. You know, it's just a code in a box. So yep. I'm okay with getting a, another case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, throw the case books. out. <laughs> unless it's a good, unless it's a steel book. Steel book. Yeah. So, so yeah, steel book with a code is fine too. Yeah. yeah. And so you know, it's funny you 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 talk about buying all the old games uh, to catch up on. Um, I don't know what's going. I don't know what the deal is, but. Um, no one's it is everyone's uh attitude these days are um the only games that are worth anything are new and upcoming games like old games don't exist i don't i haven't figured that like, one out like how old like you mean old like like last gen games or like well like, like i i just i just re-ran through finished up uh uh south park stick of truth last night Mm. Yeah, a, I've been playing that for the first time, actually. Yeah, you know? it's an Xbox 360 game and a PS3 game, and I mean, I just I just finished it because I wanted to get Fractured But Whole, and I wanted <laughs> to finish that first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got it for free too. I know. Like, I the, giggle uh, every time I say it. <laughs> <laughs> but I can understand though, like with movies and stuff. I rent from uh, from Netflix, like the Blu-rays, but I only rent movies that are coming out this particular week because there's no time to go back in time to rent old movies so yeah. so yeah. i can see that people too if they buy a lot of games just all the new games there's no time to go back and play old stuff yeah like yeah, I, I play a lot of the new things i want to play the new games when they come out especially if they're online because you know that's when mm. you know the, the like, strike when the iron's hot like you don't want to um and you know games like examples like borderlands and stuff like that like hey you pick borderlands up a month later have fun playing by yourself because all your friends are level 20 and 30 and you're bringing there's them, that you're not killing anything mm-hmm. no no there's know? there's that and you know games like like i i oh, destiny as well destiny yeah. you know the division ghost mm-hmm. recon those games i get that um i i get i get the multiplayer stuff but there's nothing that says you can't go back and roll through a lot of those single player games you don't get a chance to play yeah. even if they're three or four years old because they're still good mm-hmm. yeah i played the order like i thought that game was pretty good mm-hmm. the guy at gamestop told me to buy it for seven dollars beat it in a week and return it and get a different game so that's what i did i think yeah, i had a good plan yeah it was what, a good game though i liked it i did too well um we got it peter you and i got it at the same time right we got it on sale. I think sale. so because we got it like on sale for like, for like I don't ten know, bucks. Less than, yeah, like ten. Yeah, yeah I think it was like, it was like less than less than ten. I think it was like five bucks or something. Was whatever like super, it was, whatever it was, or three bucks. I don't know. It was like super cheap. Yeah, it was extremely cheap, and it was really good. Yeah, for I, that I, price, I, it was definitely the world uh, good. Was really cool. Like it was such yeah. a neat, a neat thing. I uh, that 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 uh, that ending, man. I I talk about that ending a lot, man. I I just kind of put the controller down and just wait waited. I wanted to see if I could get away with not having to 
finish the game that way. No. You know, I like a good I like a good story like that. I know people uh, bagged on that. And that thermite gun was incredible. Yeah. Was, uh, I know just, people like, based them in the the stuff and then just light them up. I know people yeah. bagged on the cover system, but if you were a Gears yeah. of War player, the cover system worked out for you great. Yeah. I played yeah. Gears of War. Yeah. So man, so what yeah, else? Yeah, playing old games. That's all. Yeah, doing. that's what. That's there's nothing wrong with that. Just the you know this this crazy anti Xbox One X argument. Uh, you know, well, I'm not buying it to play old games. Well, you're not, but maybe I am. Mm-hmm. Dude, I saw my enhanced list uh, a couple of uh, minutes ago, and there's like eight games, and one of them, of course, is Tomb Raider, which oh, yeah. Yeah, I did know. not. I did not play. Not because I was waiting a year for the X, but I just never got around to playing any of the DLC. And I've got like Baba Yaga there, and uh, I've heard that's good too. Yeah, I've so have I. But now I want to go back and play that, and in, 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 in nearly they targeted nearly double the frame rate. Which holy crap! Because oh, I just discovered that Final Fantasy 15 is also enhanced. Yeah, yeah, that showed right up now. I think. Yeah, The Witcher was a big announcement for that. Yeah. Mafia Three. Oh, I have like twenty four games that I enhanced so far. Wow, I gotta go through and. I mean, I got rid of. I never few. looked. I gotta go back through and look and see what's on the enhanced list. Like, I, I need to reinstall um, Killer Instinct because I know that. But you know, with ten eighty p, how much more can you do with that game? I guess it bumps it up to ten eighty p, but it's already rock solid. So you know, what do you do with that? What what game is 1080p rock solid? The Mafia? No, um, like right now, right now, Killer Instinct's 900p60. That's what they got it up to at the you know, the last time they had worked on the game. So other than 4K, because I don't have a 4K television, what's that going to do for me for 1080p? Because you know the 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 original message from Phil was if you don't have a 4K television don't buy the X because it's not going to give you any benefit. Well, the reason that I went ahead and pre-ordered it was because sometime down the line Mikey Barra started saying, "Hey, look at all this great all this great stuff that's coming for you 1080p gamers with the X." And I'm like, "Well, that's not what Phil said, but okay, now I'm listening." And so games like I'm pretty sure Albert was on it too. Yeah, with that. They right. And so they they, you know, now they got people kind of looking at that and i'm wondering like on a game like um well i guess what will happen with a game like killer instinct is you'll get um you'll get the down sampling so you'll get it de- you'll get yeah, it down sample yeah you'll get the super sample. Sample. super sample so you get that super sample to 1080p so it's going to look sharp as a tack yeah. in 60 frames see now i mean see now i'm getting excited god damn it except i suck in that game though yeah, I looks, do too. Looks it's pretty, fun. but it's like, jeez, all those I love that game. and a half circle this and that. I can't believe that. they stopped. They haven't created a new season. Like I thought, they want to roll like each year doing a new season. Uh, yeah. I think that's one of those things they're sitting on. Maybe you even think? a yeah. fall on sequel. Maybe. You think? Yeah, we know they're sitting on stuff. They have to be. Uh, they, I, oh, yeah, we talk about this all the time. <coughs> so we, we, I hope they're sitting on it. But that was, they could have just kept adding characters to that game. Like, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, true. like, season four they could have done this year. No, season, it was up to season three, or season four, right? Yeah, it'd be season four. Yeah. And they had some cameo characters, like, they were doing. I thought that was great, like, the Battletoads, the Arbiter. That was fun. They could have really made that, like, almost like a Smash Brothers type thing, just putting some of their iconic IPs Get uh, Spartan to Rome from uh, Halo Wars 2 in there. That'd be sweet. Mm-hmm. Get, yeah. um... There was another one I thought would be really awesome, but now I can't think of it. Oh, um, you got to get uh, Commander Jackson in there. Get Terry Crews up in uh, Killer Instinct. <laughs> <Henry. That'd be laughs> yeah, they can even yeah. put that, the female spot in that they ah. had in Dead or Alive back in the day on the 360, I think. But the, 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 they had the female spot in Fighter. Yep. And the Dead or Alive as a cameo. And then you get yep. Coltrane in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or, yeah, they could, yeah. Cortana, that would have been cool. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. Yeah, see, they could have done, like, real cool things. Like, I, I just don't know why they stopped this season, but unless they're going to come out with, like, Killer Instinct 2 and just Something. be like, yeah, yeah, you know, that way. But, but yeah, that that would have been cool. And that that's the one thing. It's like I wish like, some of the games they had some expansions or just some new content to go along with the enhancement. That's been my kind of criticism of how they approached this. 
Like, I wish they had some just newer content to go along with the enhancement rather than just, just enhancing the game and not providing any newer content. Yeah, uh, and that's fair. Really I mean, I, you know, I've been on the forefront of that, and I've been on the forefront of, you know, I'm getting, you know, I and I, and I know, you know, my, my uh, compadres here, we always, you know, it's a point of disagreement, but, you know, I'm always, I'm still on that, that price thing, uh, yes. you know, Same. but I'm here. But I agree. I'm getting it for three fifty, so I can't <clears throat> complain. No, you, you, Mike, you always say that. I get it for three fifty. No, you have to, you, you know. It's fine. Uh, you I have to use it for three fifty. Whatever part like of it was like trading in. Yeah, like your gift cards don't have any yeah. value, or your trade-ins did not have any value. No, it's well, still four ninety-nine. Well, I just well, said, let, let it work for him. Right, whatever but... works for him, whatever lets him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, don't tell me it's like, oh, it only costs three fifty right, for I me. Am, okay, like, all right. How about this? I am outlaying three hundred and fifty dollars in cash of okay, my own cash, yeah. and the rest is being put up by other people. Oh, so you got well, kind of got sponsored. Yeah, so how much business to the sperm bank did you have to go to to, <laughs> to get that credit going? <laughs> donating plasma. Jeez. Yeah, I know. Donating plasma. Sperm bank visits, you know. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, yeah. So my, oh, hey, Rancher just got X enhanced. Yeah, I yeah, saw I that. Saw that. I know it's not a huge game, game but man, I really enjoyed that game. So part of my part of my Xbox X One X has been subsidized. How's that, Peter? Yeah, there you go. That, that, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I approve that message. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, so anyway, I mean, we've gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth on that. But um, uh, you know, it, it, the uh, the new content thing is fair, and I, what I'm what I have. Um, what I'm hoping is that, you know, look, you know, we know Phil had to take over uh, a tough position, right? You know, he had to come in, he had to, he had to basically, you know, they, you know, Don Matrick had to be shot into the can, into the sun by cannon. And, uh, you know, and, and so, you know, we're in a position now where he's put his mark on the division, and this is this hardware is his. This baby yeah. is completely his. And it got him a bar. Yeah. Did you see the interview with Abba Pinnell on IGN where he basically said that this was proposed in 2012 to Don Matrick? Yeah. This is actually Don it. Matrick gave the green light for this thing. For what? It wasn't Phil. For the X. For the X? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Abba Pinnell said in 2012 they proposed it to Xbox executives. They said Phil was there, but... Phil wasn't the uh, Don Matrick role. He was a uh, head of Microsoft. Well, Gaming wait a minute. The well, well, wait, then, when, how the hell did we get the original Xbox One? Yeah. Well, no. Well, when I the think Xbox One realized. came out, they were planning for a mid-gen, a more powerful update to it, and they proposed it in 2012. He said um, it was the recent one they just did with the on IGN, and he said, and then they kind of clarified that, like, well. Who did you propose this to? And he's like, oh, the Xbox executive team. And he's like, so Don Matrick. He goes, yes. And Phil was there too. Well, uh, right. but yeah. so, okay, but this is kind of like been in the he works. He didn't go through with it though, right? Uh, well, that no, was... he green lighted, and that's what was coming out. Well, but, right, right. But Wait, what, what so Jen is, is saying Matrix. is the the mid the mid uh, Gen refresh was planned back then. Okay, twenty twelve. All right, yeah. I, get... I think. I think they had got caught with their pants down with Sony's release date. I think Sony surprised them with the release date, and they rushed the X out, and that's part of why the messaging was so bad. So what bad. What do you mean, the, the first one, the Xbox? Yeah, the, the OG. Well, I, I don't know. I just listened to that part where he was talking about, because people were, some people were pulling it out on Twitter, saying that th it was saying that this is Phil Spencer's creation of the X, and really, Pinello was saying that it was proposed to... Xbox executive teams in 2012. Yeah. To do well, a okay, upgrade. so let me let me clarify. Even at that, Phil had to. I mean, the the specs were probably not. Oh yeah. I'm so sure all the all the stuff that, that was, was put in the box yeah. was yeah. probably under Phil. And the design. Yeah, yeah, his design language. I'm sure, and what the power is, but. I, I don't. They didn't get into specifics. He just said gotcha. that he planned on doing this mid-gen upgrade, and I think it's sort of. He kind of. <clears throat> I think he kind of 
screwed himself just a tad by saying that, but I think he was trying to show that they would, didn't do this in in retaliation to what Sony produced. Like it wasn't like that this thing was just made as a, a knee jerk reaction to the pro or like Sony's thing. This was in plan way before that. And, I don't see. You know, I always that's thought what it was he was. I think around. that's why he's answering it. See, I always thought it was the other way around. Phil had always talked about an iterative console, but Sony was the first one to actually bring it out. I, I always thought Microsoft had the, the, the first talk about it, but Sony actually first produced it. I, I, I guess I guess where I was going with this was if this was you know this was kind of his hardware, what he wanted to do he got connect out of the box he got all this stuff that he wanted to do done, so he's laying the groundwork with the hardware and hopefully, now that the hardware is set, coming out, the all powerful X now he can build the software on top of it. Right. I wish well, it has to run on the S two. I'm not worried about that. It's all the same architecture. That's that's you got to remember. We're in PC land now. This, the, well, the S still has the S RAM. X oh. doesn't. So that's there's the uh, the Xbox S still has that ES RAM. It's a total, It's different, and then the X does. Yeah. But everything has to work on the S and the X. That's you know that's their, their vision. So you know hope uh, so if they drop the S and then they totally work on the X. Then maybe, but they didn't say that. But then on the S and the OG, you know, when you have your um, oh the OG, uh, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the um, uh, what's it, what did it call it? The scalable resolution and stuff, you know. Yeah, with yeah. the UWP stuff and uh, yeah, yeah, so it's a lot of stuff. Then you know they can make the game run. Yeah, pretty I'm not, well. I'm not. And then on the X, it yeah. runs like you know. Much, much better. Or my whole thing with the I, my personal re- belief of why the X exists is for them to make the transition to PC easier. Well, sure, but but yes. I think a lot of it also has to do with the fact that they're already in that architecture. You know, all the oh uh, yeah, they they know. are one family now. It's it's the it, the PC, the Xbox. It's all like one whole thing. It's just the Xbox is focused more on. You know, it doesn't run Word and stuff like that. But right. basically, they want they share the same store now. They're both the Windows store, so yeah, it is all one one world now. And uh, you know, I would like to see how they're going to manage it. You know, and how it's going to be scalable. Like I really, you know, the more and more they point out the how the X looks over the S, it really makes you go like, oh my goodness, this S is, is ugh. like, you know, the fact that they're my whole issue with the way they they kind of moved ahead with the X was that they're really pointing out the flaws of the S and it's really not helping selling the S because it makes it look you know, it just doesn't look as uh, you know, they're pointing out the weakness of the S which, you know, we kind of just said it's the games, don't worry about the resolution and now it's sort of like you know my, I think I tweeted out was like you know, oh, the, what's the X do? Oh, it does 4K. It's like, oh, great. Uh, well, I don't want to pay 500. How much? What does this do? Oh, yeah, this does like a 900p. Sometimes it hits 1080p. And oh, okay. Well, what about the competitor? Well, they're hitting 1080p. It it just makes that whole like lang. Now that's the conversation. And yeah, it's just I don't know. I wish they did the VR stuff. I thought they needed some sort of hardware support with yeah. the X. They needed some sort like of hardware party. thing. Like an Oculus, you know, yeah, or, or even Vive. Yeah, that that's the other cool. thing too, man. They were all, was it last year or the year before? They were all over, man, that whole VR talk. They were on stage with Oculus, with yeah. throwing the control on there. They were, said that Steam VR was going to be supported in Windows 10. And I they feel like said, that might have gone sideways with what happened with Luck, uh, Palm, Palmer, Lucky. Possibly. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, there's there's people walked away from him like crazy. <laughs> Yeah, with those the racist stuff that he's yeah, it's, yeah it got ugly, thing. and but and then yeah. the high quality I mean, VR too. You know, yeah, they're they're, uh, they're doing it like they're doing it on the PC side. I just wish they did it with the console. And I know people say VR is dead and all that other stuff, but I think you can't you can't you have to give it a chance. Like develop. Uh, my whole thing is that Sony is having an advantage because. People are building games and trying what works on PlayStation and using the PlayStation to develop the VR and porting their games over from PC to Sony and Microsoft sitting there going, you know, we don't have a console version of this. And it's just they're going to get lost like they did with the phone, you know? 
They made fun of iPhone, going, ha, 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 who wants that? Who wants that? that? And look what happened. Yeah. Took the world over, and Microsoft was the third wheel and well, dropped that mobile thing. I think they were hoping that they'd be farther along with HoloLens. And then they decided yeah. to just kind of move HoloLens off gaming altogether and kind of put it in the in the, which is great. I mean, it's for what I think it can do in the industrial sector. So it's really good. I'm not sure, you know, unless you can run around your house and your house is levels of of doom. I don't know how well that works. Um, yeah. You know, uh, it's it's cool. The whole I tried it out at PAX. Like, it, it's really neat, and it's just. Um, I think they took the approach. They I think Connect really. I think Nadella came in, saw what Connect was and what happened with Connect, and was like, "That's not happening to anything else." Like, they pushed Connect as a gaming thing, and they said one of the biggest problems they had was that they should have used Connect as they're doing Hololens, not do it with gaming in mind at first, but do it as an industry, like industry computer stuff, and then see what gaming works with it. And that's their see, approach with Hololens. Did you see that ad? They did with the Kinect back in the day with the different uh, applications, and it was uh, set to the Pixies Where Is My Mind and Strings. It's a great ad, yep. and it showed all the different things they did with it, like um, medically and things like that. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. They they could have done I I thought the Kinect was going to get a revive just like the um, yeah, you know mean. the stupid move controllers with, with VR. Like I was like, oh, my goodness. You put on the helmet. The Kinect sees you. It knows where you are in the room. You don't need any... Right. Um, it had it also detected thumbs and closing, so it's like you don't need anything in your hands. And you your, don't your need your heartbeat and all that stuff. You don't need yeah. these things. You could yep, just right. be like, "Yo, yo, here we go, here we go," and you have the thing on. You're connected, seeing you. I like had it all planned oh, out. I'm man. like, this works. You know what would have your body. You know what would have been an unbelievable VR game for that would have been because I still play it today. It's Fantasia. Yeah. yeah oh good. my goodness! Could you imagine love that, that in VR? That game is so wonderful. There's I just, just something uh, awesome about manipulating your arms all crazy light to make Queen happen. Yes. Yeah. It was yeah. It's just fantastic. And I still go back and do it just to just to mess around with it because it's just fun. You know. You know. There's there's um there's a couple Connect games coming. Uh, well, they killed it. Not no, 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 no. But they're they're not making any more of the Connect. But um, there's a couple Connect games coming. Air guitar and such. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, Bloom, uh, Boombox Three or something like that. So, Paul connect. I know. I will say one of the later ones. Probably another probably... Just Dance too. You know. Yeah. Who knows? Just Dance. You use your phone now. Like you don't even. Yeah. Need... Uh, I think Konami's anybody... dance games were great. Did anybody else mess with Fru at all? No. No, no I never did Fru. That was stealth release. Could I have. I wish. I wish uh, you know I had kids. That'd be one I wish I had kids for. It's it's really clever. You know, that's the one where you're using your shadow to manipulate the. Yeah, the map and such, and the controls are are kind of split in half, so you can use it right or left handed. You're using one, you know, because you're you're doing things with both hands, both different directions, so you can't hold the control like normal. So, you know, each stick is walk, and each trigger is jump, and so you can hold it in either hand and use it one handed. It's really pretty well thought out. Um, yeah, it's totally it was a good sending out for the uh, for the connect, in my opinion, a little underrated. Yeah. That was an indie game too. Was yeah, that uh, mm -hmm. Xbox. ID. Somebody trying to yeah. do something a little innovative with it. Yeah. Yeah. And now you got to the adapter now like forty bucks if you want to put it on the. That makes me angry because that, 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 that adapter was free with the Xbox One S. Yeah. 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 For for limited time. Yeah. Yeah. But yep. this is why I think they canceled the whole Connect before the X well, came out, yeah. so they didn't have to. You know, right. But, worry yeah, about but any I, like oh, still, the week after him confirming that. There is that. still yeah. nothing to me like yelling down the steps, "Hey Cortana, Xbox on," and having my Xbox on and ready for me by the time I get that. Oh shit! I just turned it on. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> it hurt. Hold on. It hurt me from all the way across the room. And, yeah, and I then, turned it and then, the time. But, I then Xbox. but see, but then it also turns on my TV, my stereo, and I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm going to it miss works, this. Man. So. It worked. It got me uh, a lot early on, but it, it worked. I, don't know if you saw in the chat. I, I just saw that. That is Xbox great. On, all that other stuff that Jez, do you have the chat open? No, I don't. I just see it on the screen. How do I open chat? Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, you could you could look at the screen, but you can all you just go to the video and then uh, to the YouTube channel. Go to the YouTube oh, video okay. and then you could pop the chat out without having to watch the video. 
Which, uh, by yeah, the yeah. way, um, we didn't get a chance to say welcome to our great chat room. Um, we got some new people in tonight, and uh, one of them, um, <laughs> one of them from uh, from some of today's activities. And hey, uh, we appreciate having you, and uh, hope everybody enjoys themselves. Um, yeah, just, <laughs> who's this jazz <Jez> guy, <laughs> Dottie Brasco? That is. A, <laughs> what was the rule if he's a, if uh, he's a, a friend sorry if he's you a, called me by accident this right. is the wrong number sorry right if he's a friend of mine <laughs> if he's if, right, if, right. if he's a friend of mine he's there is he's one thing if he's a friend of ours you can't touch him i forgot what they i forgot what the two things were and i gotta go watch that movie again that was such an underrated movie well, actually, I'm on planet xbox like that's i want kid smooth's podcast that's like i do that are one you every really Wednesday. Nice. Are you still yeah, doing it? I'm a regular now. No I, kidding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with Gaming Addict and uh, Kid Smooth. Wow. Cool. Have, uh, yeah. Right, so you're a veteran. No wonder you're so good at this. I've been. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been it's been in the making. Yeah. You've been hearing me on Xbox Live for like longest time. Just. Yep. And then the the rage that built up for me three. <laughs> I have the, instead of yelling at my walls, I'm like, let me get online and start yelling. Man, this is th- it's therapeutic. So. It is, but anyway, is. yeah. It so seriously, all of, all of our new uh, our, our new friends that are in the chat room tonight, um, there was uh, I'm scrolling back because I like to name them because you know as you guys all know, um, our chat room is the reason we're here, and these are there's so many good people like Project Jeff just joined. Jeff, what's up, buddies? Um, Sniffy twenty uh, two, I think he's new, and uh, Arthur Ashman, he's uh, he's new. In tonight, and uh, we really appreciate you guys coming and checking us out. Hopefully, you like what you see. We'll uh, hang out with us on Sunday nights. Uh, we, I, I think, you know, with them and Jeff and Super Cooper and uh, Reprobate and JD, who joins us uh, when he can, and Fastback, uh, Witty, our friends from the WFC podcast. Um, we have, we have, in my opinion, one of the best chat rooms around. Uh, and it's because these guys, these guys are awesome. Yep. So, Nathan, what's going on, man? We haven't talked to you yet. What are you I doing? know, right? No, I'm what you, fine. What are you up to? Um, uh, watching the chat room. Chat room is awesome. I love these guys. Yeah. They um, keep me occupied even when I'm not talking. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> you and uh, you and Peter have been been rocking that uh, Call of Duty. Right? I, it looks pretty awesome even without the x so yeah. i don't really know i don't know i don't watch any of those this is what this looks like on ps4 this is what this looks i don't watch any of that it looks pretty badass to me good yeah. for you yeah so. you know what that's yeah. that is good yeah you get involved in that stuff it just drags you down uh, you also had fun watching the uh trying to connect <laughs> right to the, uh, i mean yeah that too <laughs> for two days right <laughs> right that waiting waiting for connection that was ridiculous yeah, I was happy when I saw that. I was like, "Oh, I'm not missing out on anything." No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, and then yesterday we finally got to play, right, Nate? Yeah, we did. And uh, we played uh, with. It still it? took a. And it still took a long time to. Uh, was it assassin we played with? I think. Yeah, ZPC assassin from uh, Four Guys Recorders. Nice. Awesome. Yes. And uh, but between games and stuff, it takes a long time to find people, and then you finally get into a group, yeah, and I the game is halfway the over before the match starts again. Nice. Yeah. So they definitely have still some issues, but at least we were able to play. And what yeah, else did we do? In, in I like how they try to do that Destiny type uh, feel for like walking around your base, and like yeah. you get, like a hub yeah. world. Yeah, like some sort of hub world going on. It's a lot of fun, though. Uh, a hub world. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did any of you uh, watch any loot boxes get opened? There's a lot of talk about that as a feature. Yeah, yeah. we watched each other's. That's, that's, Supposedly, that's cool. if someone gets like the high-end item, you get XP by watching them. Nice. The uh, Yeah, no, that looks like uh, something that I would be interested in, but my budget took a hit when my car did. So, yeah, yeah. oh dear, oh dear, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, did you put that deer in the trunk and you know, <laughs> ate it or sold its meat? I, I thought about it, but I didn't have the means, so I called the sheriff and let them take care of it. No, but no, have a deal with three years. I'm sorry, I just had uh, a flashback no, I, 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 from the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I've heard of it, never seen it. Oh, you gotta watch it. What? That is the consummate Thanksgiving. Especially this movie. time of year. Yes. Because it's about Thanksgiving. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. You've got it. Nate, you the movie guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's before his time, though. It, this is before his time. <laughs> it's true. It is, uh, it is John Candy and Steve Martin at their absolute best. John Candy, God rest his soul. He'd have been 67 this Seven year. just this week. Yeah. Wow. Eesh. He's what? Oh, look. I miss him. They're showing it at my movie theater on the 15th. Are they really? Oh, you got to go see it. Go. By the way, um, Super Cooper said the uh, – I'm pointing to the chat room as if you guys can see what I'm pointing to. Um, the campaign is kind of mess so far, he's saying. Yeah. It's, I've heard other people that said it was good, so yeah. who knows? It's probably yeah, I'm, uh, I'm depending on, on expectations. Perfect. Don't know. So It's Call of Duty. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's Call of Duty not World War Two. That's all I knew. Right, they're it's not World War Two. So. It's World War Two. Can you lean? That's yeah. the magic question. Can you lean? You've no, never not seen. You could. I don't know if it'll affect the game though. You could peek over cover a little bit when you're aiming. Okay. I haven't seen leaning per se. Yeah. You, uh, that's been something that the PC always did for Call of Duty. The consoles never did. I never understood. Hmm. I don't know. My favorite peek around cover, though, was always um, Ghost Recon Advanced Warrior. Graw. Yeah. That was some. That was some awesome. And multiplayer was bad, though. There was always a delay. Yeah, but the big movements and then. Yeah. What about Rainbow Six? I was in uh, first person, then went to third person. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was you. Well, the original was third person. Yeah, the original Rainbow Six was, but then they did the Rainbow Six uh, on the 360. And Vegas, like, yep. Or, yeah, Vegas, and then you go down and uh, went to third person. That was always good. Vegas, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Call of Duty, it's it's still Call of Duty. Like you're doing cool things. Um, you know, I finished the second mission. You know, they got some actors in it now. Like you know, I think that's you know a couple of well-known fa- like semi-well-known faces. Yeah, I thought I was in the Transformers movie when I saw the guy. <laughs> Fergie's <laughs> husband. Oh, right, <laughs> Fergie's right, husband. Right, right. Yeah, it says that to him. When you put your reticle on him, it says Fergie's husband. <laughs> <laughs> private Fergie's husband. Private Fergie. So. <laughs> oh, man. All right, and uh, before, we get, before we get moving on to uh, uh, the main topic, even though we're 49 <laughs> minutes into the podcast, well, how you doing, Juan? Uh, you know, pretty good. Uh it's been hellacious in real life the last couple of weeks with uh, yeah. grandma going and a deer wrecking my car and work being terrible and it's been tough. But tomorrow I might actually get my new ride, so a lot, nice. lot of things have to kind of go right. But if it works out, uh, I got I got I'll be back having wheels again. So that's great. Um, been playing a lot of Forza. Uh, of course, we had the inaugural uh, NLG race night on Tuesday. Uh, Forza Seven. It was a great time. Had. Um, Four racers besides myself show up, and we set up at uh, Lime Rock. We did a, a little five-minute uh, just open run so people get a feel for their ride and the course. Then we did a three-lap qualifying session, and then that set the grid for the race, which was a 15-minute race. Everyone got in, got out, had a good time. Uh, it was a really, real good time and uh, successful in my opinion. So we're going to do it again on Tuesday. Looking forward to anybody, everybody who can hear this is welcome. Uh, I'll be setting up a, uh, a lobby right around 8.45, hoping to shove off around 9. So um, if you're interested, just hit me up on Twitter or on Xbox, it's Crazy Juan, and I'll get you an invite or um, or, or just, you know, find me on that night. Uh, we're going to be, now is as good a time as any to announce uh, the venue and the car division. We're going to do Laguna Seca, the awesome mm. Trans Am road racing course, and we're going to do it in sport compact cars. So if you want to get a leg up, and get a couple of laps in with a couple of different cars and find which one you like for the night. Uh, feel free to go ahead and do that and paint it up. We encourage you. I'd like to see some some paint jobs. And we'll we'll hope to see you guys uh, Tuesday, 8.45 p.m. for the next race at Laguna Seca. I do want to congratulate our winner from this week. Uh, goes as uh, uh, as um, Delirium Blades, I think it is, on on Twitter, and uh, he put in a real, real solid race, and that was a, that was a, that was that was a lot of fun. So, been doing that, and got back into uh, Knights of the Old Republic because it hit OGBC, and I had messed with all the games that I have, the three of them: the Ninja Gaiden, 
the Crimson Skies and the KOTOR, but KOTOR is the only one I hadn't done a playthrough on in the last 18 months, <laughs> so I decided to play that one. And it's it's so great going back to that game and having it run real well, and it's just it's just nice being able to pop in a disc like that. And I've had that disc for, God, I don't know how many years. It just plays. There's no problem. It, it's so great. So I've been doing that, um, and still messing around with the Mario Odyssey, which is really solid. Probably going to be Game of the Year contender for me, um, but I, I, I still am debating if I like it more or less than Galaxy. But yeah, that's that's been my gaming week, and with the with the course the big news being hopefully I get a new ride <laughs> tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, new ride and new console. Yep. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, my wife was, was getting on me for getting all the toys. I'm gonna get a shiny little sports hatchback. <laughs> <laughs> and a brand new Xbox, and what's she getting? Uh, diamonds. Out there. Diamonds. Right. <laughs> something. <laughs> she getting we'll diamonds. Right. They are forever. There will be. be happy, there will be. Happy a, husbands. Yes, there will be a necklace or a ring on her finger, of some sort. Yeah, but really looking forward to that next race. That was a, a, a real good time, and um, it, you know, it, it, it was a great experiment in getting it done. So, I uh, want to see some more racers in the next one. We can go up to. 12, 20 racers, and could get real real interesting. So everyone's invited. Yeah. Nice. I know HGK was there. Um, yep. And, uh, uh, you know, you, you had a good time, yes? I had a good time. Yes, definitely. Yeah, can't wait for the next one. Yeah, exactly. Welcome, buddy. Yeah, no one gifted it to me. I'm still waiting. Oh, anybody use the gift? Uh, the gifting? Fun. Yeah, anybody use yeah. the gift? <laughs> Juan did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Like an idiot. <laughs> Uh, one of my buddies had a birthday, and I thought, well, I'll get him something inexpensive that was cool, and um, Oxenfree was on sale. Mm. And he's like, yeah, that's cool, man, but you remember this was a game of gold? I'm like, F. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. forgot. But it works oh, like no. a charm. It was really sweet. I just, you know, I went in, and I went to buy it, and it said, you know, buy as a gift, and pick your uh, pick your friend tag you want on a user, and he just got it as a message, as a token that he can cash in whenever. Oh, and, oh so uh, it doesn't tell you if they have it or not. That would be cool. Um, well, yeah, they could have. They could have checked, right? They could have checked. I guess and it was like, I guess I don't know. Maybe not. But it would be nice that you don't just gift the game that somebody has already. Right. Yeah. Well, I know they're working on making a li- wish list, which will help with that. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Cool. Yeah. But um, but there was what I saw was uh, it, it like opens a conversation. It's like a message sent to him, so I could see that it was sent. But but yeah, it worked yeah. out pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, I don't like the uh, fine print. Like you know, you cannot. You can only send that. To- Oxen free game that was on sale to only twice. Right. Yeah. Well, and uh, we, there's some other other things from you know. <laughs> Witty, um, Witty did remind job my memory that I do have to give him some shout out for some uh, smoky and fantastic finishes. As <laughs> also during the warm up, uh, we could count on Witty for some shenanigans. And so that was a, uh, he, he made it interesting and and, uh, and and put up some pretty good lap times too. He's I've been chasing him so much on the Forza uh, lap times. He's really quick. So um, yeah, we're glad to see him. Hope he comes back again in the next race. Well, I say is playing Forza at sixty frames a second. I really hope Horizon has a sixty frames a second mode. I'd yeah, be yeah. shocked if it didn't. Just shocked. Yeah, because. It's so fast. Like when you play, like you just sense it, the speed on Forza. Mm-hmm. That, um, you know, coming from Horizon, it's like, oh, I hope the next one they have, you know, if they tone down the resolution to get the 60 frames, just do it. But I'm sure they'll. they'll Somehow do it. I think it's going to have both. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be. You think 4K 60 for the, the world? That'd be for awesome. the X? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You know what? I could see them getting away with it if they try to do Forza Horizon like in a city type, but it doesn't have those long draw distances. Oh, kind yeah. of, you know, maybe they might be able to do it. Like, it depends on where they're going next year. If they, uh, I'm sure it's coming out next year, but where they go with it. Yeah. But that would be incredible, sixty. Yeah. I tried playing out sixty on my PC, but it it doesn't. I can't get it. I have a nine eighty Ti, so I just you know I, I play like a forty seven, forty five. That's about it. At higher resolution, but right. but it runs great. Like you know, it does their games that you get from the store at the cross buy. Like they really do have good detection of like what you what you have on your computer, and they make it kind of very simple. You know, when your computer boots up the game, it just sees the uh, the game sees what you have and gives you the best uh, optimizes it. 
Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. Yeah, that that yeah, that would be cool if they have sixty frames on Horizon because seven, Forza Seven is really fast, like sixty frames. Oh, it's a, it's a, immediately you can tell the difference when you go from playing one yeah. to the other. If you play Horizon long enough, it'll kind of blend in. You don't really feel the <clears throat> difference, but then you hop into seven or even six, and it's like man, it just feels so different. Yeah, you're like yeah, yeah you're going fast. Yeah, but on the other hand, like Forza Seven, you know, with the motorsport, you need more precision than Horizon. True. Motorsport yeah. doesn't doesn't leave you any room for error. No, uh, while Horizon is like, oh, you know, <laughs> right, tear the track, you know, right. it's like, yeah, yeah. Take that oh, it's a little, yeah, it's a little, little grass there. You're okay. Forza, yeah. Hor- Forza mm, Motorsport, yeah. but like, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that a blade of grass? <laughs> yeah, crossbits <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm not right. sure. There was a yeah, there was an oh. update out for Forza Seven, and one of the things was a little bit about driver tours, and I don't, I haven't raced since, so. <laughs> I don't know if they fix the fix that a little bit a, because the drive a tar the uh, drive a tar being assholes thing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, there's a You know, the worst in since I don't know since the beginning of time. I gotta I gotta say it just you've seen some of what I do. Uh, it you just it, mostly it's learning how to drive around them because they, they in this version they are more aggressive in a way, but in a sense they're not. If you give them a little inch, they'll take it. If you're off your line and they think they can squeeze in, they'll go for it. You just have and to even know. when you're on the line. Yeah, it happens occasionally. The line. It does. It does happen occasionally. There's no doubt that that happens occasionally. <laughs> but like I've got videos where I've got clean runs for the whole race and I haven't touched anybody because I've worked out with you know. And sometimes it takes quite a few restarts. But I've worked out. You know, if I'm here on this corner, that's going to convince this driver tar he doesn't have the line. He's going to back out or whatever. And right. it's doable. You just kind of have to learn how to drive around him. Yeah, do a lot of passing on the outside because so many players, and this is what the driver tires are based off as the players, think that you have to be on the inside to make a pass. <clears throat> that the driver right. tires are that way. The driver tires are always trying to get that inside line, so they leave that outside line open. And if you're solid, you can get around on it. So if you have a race and you come across my driver tire, watch for it. He'll pass on the outside because I do that more often than almost on the inside. Right. Yeah, it's pretty. I think it's like I love. I I, I fired up my wife's uh, gamer tag just to make a limp character, you know, newbie character in Forza so I could race my own Ravatar and, and see what it did. And I, I'm watching, I'm just following it. I'm watching it pass on the outside. I'm like, that's my boy! It's kind of funny. The other day I had a race and you were in a race and you started in the back of the grid and you ended up in the back of the grid. So. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yep, that Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Fast back. He said, don't want Forza Horizon 4. No more festival. You, you shut your mouth, sir. Well, we need more. Well, what we need, though, see, here's what, and I, and he knows I'm kidding. But here's the the great thing about Forza Horizon is where where motorsport is close track. We know ninety percent of the track. We know, you know, we know, you know, you're gonna get a certain set of everything. What I like about Horizon is it's in different places and countries. You know, one of the reasons well, which was I, better actually was the was the terrain. Because I've heard people argue that the terrain and racing was better in two, like the courses were better in two than three. And I'm there's I think um, there might be a point to that. There's a lot of things three does really awesome, but man, some of the some of the Italian hillside countryside stuff in two was so great. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I get where I get where he's coming from. Like if the horizon thing were changed a little bit. And maybe it's not the festival again. You know, maybe there's something there. Um, I, you know, I think Playground will make a good game regardless. But well, I, but I, you know, <clears throat> I would love to see. I would love to see like a Horizon in in Japan. You know, sure. where you could go from the mountains into the city. Because that's what I love about Horizon, even two and three, is you're driving through. You're driving through so much different terrain. Um, you know. GT Sport to an extent is like that, um, except that's more circuit racing too. A drive Club was a bit like that, where you just had, you just went from from terrain to terrain, to place to place. Um, well, that's that's you know, the advantage that you have when you're not trying to do real world racetracks, because yeah. real 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 world racetracks are not necessarily scenic places. No, maybe. no, they're not. I, I mean, mean, they can. I mean, you know, they can be for. You know, like like Monaco. Monaco is a beautiful racetrack. Sure. But but driving through 
you know, I, even when it was Colorado, you know, Forza Horizon on the 360, you know, but, but going through France and Italy and Australia and, and places like that, I love that kind of stuff. And then you can add on those things like the, like the Hot Wheels uh, track and Storm Island and all this great stuff. Yeah. You know, the Hot Wheels thing was I'll, a great idea. I'll meet, I'll meet Fastback halfway on that. Something open world, but not the Horizon Festival. Mm-hmm. So, uh, all right. So I want to switch gears because, um, you know, I don't want to be. It's not going to be my fault if we're three hours tonight, you gentlemen. Mm-hmm. So okay. uh, let's move on to um, Paris Games Week. So on the other side of the pond, we have the PlayStation stuff going on too. And, you know, thanks to them, 2018... Uh, is going to be one hell of a time for gaming. I mean, between all the great Xbox games, now you get all the great PlayStation games that are coming, um, and we got a chance to see some more of that on uh, on Monday. And uh, I grabbed as many of the trailers as I could, and we're going to run, without audio, we're going to run some of these trailers while we're talking because I want people to see some of the stuff coming out. I got a mix of the AAA games, um, stuff like Guacamelee 2, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Yeah. Guacamelee 2, baby. No. Um, and so on. And so Paris Games Week, uh, had, uh, Microsoft had a little bit of a, of a presence there for PUBG, but really the focus was <laughs> Sony. This is one of their big, one of their big shows now that they've kind of moved away, um, from Gamescom and they have this, they have PSX and E3. And so this was another chance for them to show off some stuff kind of without much competition. So I'm gonna run the I'm gonna run the reel so we could kind of talk about stuff as we go. The first thing that I put on here, and I wanted to get everybody's opinion um, who has seen this. And uh, Peace Sniffy, thanks for uh Thanks for hanging with us. Hopefully you will uh, come back and check us out again. Uh, uh, let's see. So the um, Last of Us 2 trailer. Mm. So this is what they That's ended nice. with. And let's just say. I watched it, this today to get caught up. It was intense. Yeah. If um, you want to know why, why and what. Well, yeah. I mean, right off the bat here, what we're seeing, um, you know, is, I mean, this is tame until they string her up. And then, you you know, I will be honest with you, um, I got a hair bit uncomfortable watching the trailer. I'm not like crazy, naughty dog, how could you do this kind of uncomfortable. What I was kind of, wow, they really went there. And, like, right here, like, wow. And so they're really setting this up. Now, you know, it gets worse. <laughs> but um, they they kind of went to town with this trailer a bit. So I was curious as to your thoughts on uh, kind of the, the overall brutality of it. And, you know, are we getting to a point where... Um, you know, games and and uh, kind of real life scenarios are getting a little too close for comfort. Oh, God, I'm cringing. I'm still cringing just watching this. But go ahead, guys. No, definitely. What I said earlier is that you know, I, I kind of want to know what the, uh, you know, how did they get in those situations? You know, what's what makes them do it? You know, especially here when the second character is brought in and. Yeah. yeah, that I thought was kind of modify her arms a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> who is she? I mean, it's that's the, the it pulled me in. Definitely want to know what's going on, who these characters are. Yeah. Um, I didn't see the trail first, but I saw the whole like everybody saying that they went very brutal with it. So I kind of was like going, "Oh my god!" Like, what yeah. did they do? <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, this was like a yeah. little uh, yeah. On the joints, nice. Yeah, guy gets an arrow in the face. Yeah, better than to the knee. knee. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, th- yeah, and I mean, this is 
this was a crazy setup. And, you know, Naughty Dog has, and Sony, for the most, you know, they have defended the, you know, um, now this was a good move. They defended this as, you know, this is their creativity. And, and you know, I, I don't necessarily, yeah, ooh, yeah, shabam. I don't necessarily Boom. disagree. You know, I, I, it, oh, she took the axe to the head. That's what it was. Yeah. So, you know, this. Like, what could they show on The Walking Dead? You know, like yeah. things like that kind of stuff. Like that's on cable, like not even HBO type. I get people are trying to push the. I, I think it's good for gaming. You know, let them push the like what they do. Like this justifies more gaming as an art form and not. You know, it could be all different levels. It could be a Mario. It could be serious tone. Like if you want, um, like serious tones. Like I played, I beat Hellblade. Holy crap! Like that game is like that game is really intense. And, um, you know, with psychosis and just, like, you're going to hell and you're fighting hell, like, it is incredible. And, um, you know, I felt, you know, I'm mature. I could handle that that kind of, you know, story. And it was it pulled me in very much that I had an emotional, um, you know, reaction to it after I beat it. I was, like, I was kind of depressed. But then I was, like, reflective on it. I was, like, oh, that was a good game. And, you know, you get an emotion out of it. The game has done its job, you know. So, yeah, this thing pulled me in to be, like... What can this be? You know, like who are these people? Are these are new characters. It's not just Joel and Ellie, and you know that we thought was going to run around again, right? And it seems like there's like, and and what's cool is like, I think it looks like they're taking the next sort of like um, how Walking Dead kind of made it more about just how people are ha- like dealing with stuff, like the tribes are Ooh, dealing with the yeah. apocalypse more so than them versus the infection. How it was, you know. Then the infection. Now it's more of the faction, sort of like how Walking Dead has now kind of been, you know, the zombies are just kind of the, you know, just in the background while these <laughs> guys, are, these factions are fighting. So maybe that's something like that. Yeah. Like, go to the next step. And of course, again, um, you guys in the chat room, we definitely want your opinions on these as we go through them. Um, and a couple of good ones. You know, Fastback says this is kind of like bringing the world alive. Um, JD says he does, you know, the personalized violence and political stuff in games is a bad trend. Um, you know, I, I can kind of see both, um, you know, and, and, and Jeff is saying Wolfenstein too shocked him at parts he doesn't want to tell us about. And thank you for doing that because I haven't played it yet. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I guess you have to, you know, you have to judge whether or not you want to play the game. You have to right. you have to judge whether or not this game is good enough for you. Um, as long as there are still, you know, the Mario games that you can play. You know, if you want to play Cuphead instead of this, if you want to play Wipeout or or Local Roco instead of this, if you want to, you know, there's um, if you want to rock Rock a Melee Two instead of this. <laughs> yeah. Never says Peter. And that uh, game is rated M for mature. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's okay. So, yeah, but but I will say the the trailer made me feel a little uncomfortable just you know, uh, that was that I it was a hair bit over the top for me, you know, hammering that woman's arm. That was yeah. tough. that was that tough was to watch. Crazy. Well, the thing is you don't have a, a true context of what's going on. Right. So that makes it like all of a sudden like this, this is it, you know? It's like Yeah, and she says like break her wings, which is kind yeah. of like oh, like, oh break yeah. her wings. She doesn't break her arm. Like break yeah. her wings. Like maybe they're um you know, so they can't shoot the arrows at her. I don't know. But yeah, it it, it you know, but it got a reaction. That's probably what they wanted. Now people yeah. are interested, intrigued, or well, turned off, you know. They, yeah. You're gonna and win then, some, lose some. Yeah. yeah. But people are talking about your game. Well, there's exactly. that, you know, too. So that's, people that's, are talking about I, your but, game. You know. I didn't see it till today, you know, for the homework assignment, if you will, because you know, I'm, I'm not going to play it, most likely, but um, there's no judgment on it, just not, probably going to be in the budget. But, uh, I, you know, I had heard all the reaction. I saw, you know, um, Neil Druckmann, I think it was, say, mm-hmm. you know, it's a mature game for mature gamers. There's two things, and I, I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, I personally was underwhelmed with it. I didn't, I mean... It's violent, sure, but it's I didn't you know, I didn't see anything that really shocked me. And I don't know, maybe I've watched too many Saw movies or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but but honestly, even taking it to gaming, like um 
one that stands out for me was Remedy's Max Payne, the original one. Had a really tough, kind of gr- gritty scene where uh, his he's come back from his being an undercover cop. He got ratted out by some bad cops to the gang that he was undercover in, so they murdered his family. And you're going through the house, and there's like a breakdown nightmare scene. It's really pretty tough, and it's, you know, that I think... Uh, without being specifically graphic, still had the same impact. So I think you can do it without gratuitousness. Um, And I think gratuitousness, for the sake of it, for shock value, isn't helping the art of it. But I do see the argument that if games are art, then what boundaries should we place on them? You know, because it's up to the the buyer to decide what they want to subject themselves to. Um, So I'm kind of torn on it. Like I said, yeah. I don't, I don't really get the controversy. Honestly, I didn't think it was all that jarring or, or awful. Yeah, um, I didn't think so. Either. I thought, I, well, maybe it's just because I'm squeamish. I mean, hammering her arm like that was, I just, yeah. I, I had a, I had, cool. a re- no. <laughs> I had well, a, I had a, I had a reflex. I thought she was gonna cut her open. Like I, was like, I thought, that, right? I was like, oh, everybody's making a big deal. Probably she cuts her guts out, like you know, yeah, cuts her up. And I'm thinking that, and then it's like, oh, they, yeah. All right. Also, we're looking at, a, I think, a trailer that won't be a TV spot. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, very much. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> it won't be on Monday Night Football. No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, but um, I do have to say, like, the the thing is, and I, and I noticed this too, and and you know, it's uh, when you know, as I said, I got the PlayStation over to some and playing like the Uncharted game, playing, replaying The Last of Us because I only played like the little bit of it on the PlayStation Three. The facial expressions and the emotions that Naughty Dog does, it pulls you in just like, a, oh, you're watching a movie. Like, mm-hmm. the stupid scene with, with uh, you know, with Nathan Drake and his wife just sitting there just chatting before yep. they played Crash Bandicoot. Like, I'm just watching just going like, oh, my, like, wow, like, these they're real. Like, this is real. Like, I, I don't realize it's a game. Like, just the emotion. Yeah. That is one I mean, of the there's, there's some other there's some other PlayStation games out there that the same thing. It's it's funny that you mentioned it, like Detroit. You know, also yeah, like the, a lot of facial place. expressions that are like you know I don't know if they're using some middleware engine that they are sharing or something, but they're all you know uh, yeah so top notch yeah very like it pulls you in and and I think uh, you know with their games I noticed that Hellblade did a great job of it and uh, those guys they made Heavenly Sword and uh, enslaved. And they kind of have that facial capture, but yeah, for some reason, you know, they, you, you, you sense the pain and stuff like that that they're mm-hmm. in. You know, the same thing. I played the, um, the expansion to Uncharted, and just like watching those scenes and stuff, and it's all. I still gotta game. get that too. Lost Legacy is good. I still that's, gotta get that. Yeah, I still have to finish that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just I'm so behind. I'm so like, behind. Gears has it somewhat. I think we lose it a lot with Halo because Master Chief doesn't have a face, so you don't really get expressions mm-hmm. from it. But you know, got it somewhat Marcus Phoenix, like you know, with with that kind of stuff. But again, I want more of that. You know, that's that's like at this time point of my gaming thing, like that that kind of pulls me in. But when they just look like Mass Effect characters, like you know, right. I'm just like, uh huh, X X X, like uh, uh, yeah, just okay, like yeah. you know, what do I have to do? Where do I gotta go? I, th- I think it's hard to get it right, but once you have it right, it's you just keep normal. doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a big thing, no doubt. Uh, I think one of my favorite places I've seen that on the Xbox was with uh, Halo Wars 2. I don't know if any of you have played it besides me, but because nah, it's, it just didn't get the reception. But I'm telling you, those blur cutscenes. Um, oh yeah, they're those, the bombs, those, and and you do run into Halo like too. Spartan Jerome, right? Is Spartan, so he's in his helmet, right? <laughs> but there's a there's an amazing scene, and you, you know, let's say let's just say you're going to write it off. You're never going to play this game. Go to YouTube and pull up the scene with Spartan Jerome and Isabel. When she breaks the rules, and uh, it's so amazing, it's so good. Like everything you're saying about that expression, and, and they did it with Isabel, who's an AI character, like kind of like kind of like that game's um, yeah. Cortana, and it's so good. It's it's it just kicks so much ass. The it was so good at the time, it made me angry because I'm, I I watched it and I tweeted, oh, this is so damn good. Um, the ending, unfortunately, is kind of written for a sequel that may or may not ever happen. But right up until it, it's yeah, it's so fantastic. But even if you're, if you're never going to play that game, spoil it for yourself and watch that scene. It's amazing. 
Yeah, Halo was one had excellent cutscenes, and I know that that was that was great too. Um, but Blur did do like Halo Two the remake, right? The the remaster, the, uh, the anniversary yeah, the, edition. Yeah, the cutscenes for that. Yeah, and yeah. I think the other thing too is like I understand when when it's a cutscene, it's something else. But I think the, the one thing that I've noticed in playing some of those games is that it's the graphics of the game, but then it's kind of rendered in the cutscene. So it's not like it's this dynamic where it looks like it's a cutscene and then it stops cutscene now gameplay. Like right. they, they roll it in in such a way that you're convinced. Now they probably are using definitely better animations and stuff like that when they're close up doing a cutscene. But then when they just the character like turns around and then they go to the back and then it blends right into the gameplay. This seamless and oh yeah, you know, it's in and, the, it's in an engine, so it looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. So like. That's when they do that kind of stuff. It really makes you feel like, oh, I, I can put my control down. I'm watching a cutscene. Wow, that looks amazing. That was a cutscene, cutscene, and now I'm playing the game. But um, you know, I just think, you know, some of those things really it made me want to finish the game. Where, you know, some games where the characters just are not really you know get that emotion. Into well, it. some like, some of it too hmm. is the multiple people that are involved in games that have been doing that for so long. Like you, you tend to see it in TV shows how right. well. You know, uh, people can can meld together. Uh, one of my favorites on TV, uh, to be honest with you, is Hawaii Five O between Alex mm-hmm. L- uh, Laughlin, fr- who plays you know McGarrett, and Scott Kahn, who plays Danny. Those guys, like you, uh, you could you could tell me they were they do this in real life, and you know just the way they banter back and forth. So when you talk about, um, you know, Nathan Drake and and his wife, or um, Master Chief and Cortana, like the end of the end of. First off, that scene that you're talking about in in Uncharted Four um, ranks as one of my top cutscenes ever. When they're on the couch, just when they're on the couch eating dinner, talking, and he's lying to her about where he's going, and yeah. and she's, you know, just even just a little bit of 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 back and forth they did and. And mm-hmm. and you know that you're right. That sense of of you know, like they're eating. She's eating, and she's like just talking, and you're like, right, just like, all right, like, she's right. Like you're on the couch. Oh, we're far. Let me finish swallowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm like, wow. That's oh, crazy. the bra is in town. Look at the hey. What's bra. up, PlayStation bra? He was. We What's were up, trying man? to get him on tonight, but he was. Um, he had a he had a family function tonight. Came out to uh, uh, so that's why you guys. Ca- oh, that's why man. you messaged me. He came on uh-huh. the Titans. Second oh. fiddle. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. So this the center square was for PlayStation bra. Gotcha. No, no, you were you Joan were, Rivers. You were first, he was going to invite you were first, everybody. You were first, second, <laughs> second fiddle. We're going to have two center squares, <laughs> right? Oh. Uh, he came on. To look at man. All right, that's fine. Titans. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started. I'm a Giants fan. Forget about. It. I returned yeah. Madden. I don't play it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> After the second game of the season, hey. I was like, I'm not playing football this year. So you later, yeah. Madden. All right. So we go on about cutscenes. I want to keep going on the on the. Um, oh yeah, another trail. Let's see yeah, another one. We, uh, I yeah. saw that one. Sorry, I we, see. This, it's only my fault. Sorry, I brought it up with the facial man. expressions. That uh, was a really good-looking trailer, though. It was. <clears throat> and it, yeah. it's, it's going to be a hot game. Yep. Now, speaking of, holy mm. shit, guys. Yeah, Sucker Punch. Great. I saw this one. Yeah. I can't even pre- produce. Somebody pronounce that last word for me because I'm just dumb. Ghosts? No. This- <laughs> <laughs> Tsushima? I think it's Tsushima. 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 This yeah. game looks amazing. I am a sucker for uh, feudal Japan and samurai games, and this looks crazy. I thought you were going to say you were a sucker for Sucker Punch. This well, might be the too. highlight of the week, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh yeah, Happy Birthday! But this to this would dad. interest me more than anything. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I. <sighs> There was an old PC game long, 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 long ago called Way of the Samurai. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it was an EA game at that. And it was it was really cool and it got me into this kind of stuff. And um, I just love this time period. And, you know, you had games like Neo that, that kind of delved into 
um, this a little bit, but this looks just crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm curious how the gameplay looks because this is more like you know, yeah, they always all like good yeah, of course kind of stuff. So, but it is something. But, uh, it's but it open looks world, it definitely right? looks looks pretty though. Looks yeah, really I believe good. it's open world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's yeah. open world, but it's sucker punch. I mean, I think it says at the end Tom Cruise DLC. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! And Super Cooper says supposedly that's all in engine. Yeah, they did all that. No, I know sick. Frankie. Frankie won. Frankie like went crazy for this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Opal. Oh, there. That might be some gameplay. There you go. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. yeah that's gonna be cool. That's that's. Yeah. Yeah, that's where my inner Kenshin fan is like, all right, yeah, that'd be great. Yes. I see. In development, uh, trailer <coughs> resolution and stuff may not apply. All right, so then we got to Japan and Blue Point, and Blue Point always does good stuff. I'm trying to remember what trailer this was. I didn't mark them, but I tried to put all the, the major games up front. But it it, it it goes to say, like, they did not make them make another infamous game. They no. made them make something else. And right. Just like they did not make Gorilla make another Killzone game. Because right. if you remember, the Killzone and um, infamous games were not really sequels. Oh, this they is Shadow of the like Colossus. Those, yeah, it is that Sorry. remake of Shadow yeah. of Colossus. But, you know, they weren't sequels. Like, Killzone wasn't, like, a full-blown, like, Killzone 4. Neither was Infamous. It was Second Son. Like, you know, they weren't kind of labeled as the next number game. It was sort of like a launch game, thinking that, oh, they're probably going to give you the big number game coming up. But they made them work on different things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, the... that's the name of the game, man. You know, it's... it's Imagine 343 working on something else. Side project. Or something, I don't know. Or at least something in the <laughs> universe. Like, like I know they did yeah. Halo Wars. Can you imagine a Halo RPG? I was... Well, they did Creative Assembly did Halo Wars, right? Well, but it's it was under the under the umbrella yeah, of 343. Cre- yeah, Creative well, Assembly and 343, yeah. Yeah, so that they worked with them. So I would, yeah, it, it would be interesting if they make them, you know, do that. Like, the same thing they had... Um, the other studio, the, uh, the coalition, old, well, coalition. But before that, Black Tusk was working on a game. That game, you know, that's that stealth game that they showed the clip right. for the first year of the Xbox. You know, well, they and just, they may let them go back to that. I mean, Gear. You know, I don't, I don't know that we're going to get a Gears Five right away. So maybe, you yeah. know, this is these are all. But but it, you know, you, you, you're right. Gorilla got to do Horizon, and that became a, a fantastic game. And we're going to see some. Um, some Horizon the DLC, D- the DLC. Yeah. but you know, uh, their Japan studio bringing back Shadow of the Colossus. You know what I think it's funny though is, of course, here we go. Here's a remake. Um, so if you could get a remake of a game, and obviously this was a very popular game and it highly anticipated. What's wrong with yeah. backward compatibility? You know, a lot of people say, "Well, you know, I don't want to play old games." Well, but you're first in line to get Shadow of the Colossus and the Crash Bandicoot remakes. So, you know, lighten up, Francis. Uh, <laughs> but now look well, at... Well, these all remakes, though. Like, this is like I what understand Halo that. 2 was. Like, I understand. I would like the Halo 3 like that. Fan but but what I'm saying is, is this is a... This is a old... How old is this game? 10, 15 years? Well, I, I'm just saying, I've heard several times since, you know, I've been... We've been when well, we've all been talking in a group, you know, the community, if you will, at large, talking in a group about say the X, and then, you know, why would I want to play the same games just prettier? It applies here. It does, yeah. and there's nothing wrong yeah, with no, this. No, no. And there, and there sure, isn't. I want to there make isn't. sure everyone understands. I am all for, and if this is the way Sony wants to do it, like every when I I I defend Sony against stuff like PlayStation Now and remaking these games because this is their prerogative. And, right. and if they didn't do it, there's a generation of people who aren't going to get to see a masterpiece like this. And this game was game yep. of the year. This game, absolute. I mean, I that I'm, game is in PlayStation now. Right. You can yeah. play it from the PlayStation Three and PlayStation. 2. Right, but it's, now it deserves a remake. No one's. Well, not, not also, in, in, in their defense, is like mm-hmm. now you know you can make that game how you maybe had envisioned it 15 years ago. 
but due to technology, you know. Right, and now you can get trophies. Now, now you can, yeah. Which, by the now, way, they they keeping all the mechanisms the same, right? It's just yes. uh, the it's not updated. For but any. here you go. Look, it is coming out in February, and it's in 4K for the PS. I mean, who who does not want to play Shadow of the Colossus in 4K? I mean, but, good lord! But it's redone. My TV. Though. That's the thing. It's redone. Well, I mean, you, but you know what I'm saying, Peter. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I know. You know, I'm I mean, this kidding. is this is a game that that, and I expect people to buy this game. I expect this game to sell well, and it should, because this this was a. I mean, this is a game even I enjoyed, um, even back I when I was still kind of toying with the Sega fence. Yeah, you know? are they the going to sell for like forty bucks? I don't know how much. I don't know. I did not see a price. I should go on the PlayStation blog while I'm, um, while we're showing these. So, but uh, yeah. But see, my whole thing is like when they do that, I think that's different than, than what what the X is doing to some of the games. Like it's it's making them. It's not. It's just making them sharper. It's not really redoing like a Halo anniversary treatment to it, which that's what that looks like. Right, right. Yeah, no, that's so, true. like, you know, what if I, like, because I put Crimson Skies back in, Ooh, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. Yeah. Playing this, and I'm I like, I want to pause that for a minute. Too. Well, yeah. Well, what's yeah. this one? Detroit. Remember Detroit? Detroit? Oh, that's Detroit. Yeah. That yeah. Was, <coughs> yeah. That's a David Cage game. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this game, this, this kind of toyed with, I mean, that the, the abusive father, and, you know, this, this woman has to. The, she's not a woman. She's an android. She has to kind of grow feelings and decide whether or not she wants to be part of things. Um, and on Twitter, they tweeted out this uh, this trailer, but you only got about forty five seconds of it. So I was really glad to go back and find this the the more full trailer. And yeah, uh, yeah just you know, this is no. Yeah, exactly, and it just kind of pulls at your at your strings a little bit. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful game. Yeah, I'm just don't know because you have like three types of droids, right? You have this lady, and then you have the one that leads a revolution, and then one that's on the run or something. Right. So I'm I'm, I'm curious how this all ties together. That's my. Uh, that's my, just it. I think that she, this this. Kara has to decide whether or not she is right. just going to be the obedient um, android or if she's going to develop that oh. that feeling for I her. would know. I would do. I would... Oh, he killed her? I don't know. Well, it depends what choices you probably Yeah, I guess. Make. Oh, oh things should have been different. Beat. Yeah. I yeah. was a robot man. He's getting his ass beat. There's no choice. And that's just it. I think she has to decide. This morning, chainsaws. Yeah. But I, but I hope that within the game, it's easy to kind of rewind your choices and then continue instead of like doing like a hundred playthroughs of the whole right. thing. Oh, yeah, this definitely looks. Uh, this definitely See, looks very very it, interesting. You know, oh, it's really good. Take a gun or a, right, oh, man. and decides to protect. See, this is. Oh. This is fun. my this is my kind of game right here. This is my yeah. this is this is what I'm talking about. This is you know, give me give me a, a completely compelling story. Give me whip his ass. Give me a give me something so compelling and Oh the girl shot. Yep. Oh, and man. and if it's really like this where you make the the, the choices and, mm-hmm. and how you do that plays out and, and you know what? Take your time. It says coming 2018. Yeah. And I know that yeah. you know I, I hear this bullshit too. Um, you know Sony, you know, you, know, you never you did all these games and no, uh, you know, no release dates. Well, you know what? We've seen that we've seen that game before, and it doesn't always work out scale bound and stuff like that. So take your time, because if this game is mm-hmm. what if this game is what it looks like i this could be one of my premier games of 2018 kind of makes me think of yeah. um kind of a prettier life is strange kind yeah, of decision making type of thing story yeah. based yeah that's, yeah that's cool i love life is strange so. and if you haven't seen life is strange definitely 
Definitely, definitely check. That. Yeah, I've been enjoying the second game too. They uh, they handed off to a different studio, but uh, it went from Don't Nod to Deck Nine, but Deck Nine gets it. Right. But yeah, this Detroit game, I gave it like two pluses there. Yeah, I'm definitely oh, looking yeah, out was, for that game. That was yeah. incredible. Yep, looks solid. Uh, <laughs> this is the Far Cry Five. Um, they were showing some co-op, I believe. Yeah. Are uh, they doing the co-op again? Yeah, I, we can probably. I don't know yeah. if I meant to put that in here. They did it in four. Yeah. I mean, it's a multiplat, so it's a little. Uh, Far Cry Five better be shake it up a little bit. It better not be just four again. Like. Four was three. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know, Nathan. You're you're kind of waiting for this game, right? Yes, I did. And, but I just that the way that made me feel. I'm just like, I don't know. Are they doing it, it with the tokens again, like they did in four, where you have like five or six, like oh, far five tokens? Yeah. I like how it's called Spreaded Eagle, though. That I'll take co. Know. I'll take co-op though. I'm. I'm a but co-op guy. It's not campaign guy. co-op. I think it's just mission. No, but oh. just, just tearing stuff up. It's cool. Yeah, well, screw Is that. it no, campaign I, co-op? I, yeah, it's campaign co-op. Oh, okay. Well, there Four you go. didn't have campaign co-op. Four was yes, like they brought it back. Missions. Oh, okay. Then that's cool. All right. Well, well, they, ha- yeah, they released campaign. the trailer. I don't, I don't think it's this one, <laughs> but they have a trailer that's called like co-op campaign. Okay, that would be good. Because four yeah. was like the mission keys, and it was like co-op missions. It was it wasn't like a full blown co-op. No. Yeah, I have this already pre-ordered. I'm pumped for this. Did, do you know if they have multiplayer in it again, like the deathmatch and all that other stuff? Or? I've not heard about multiplayer. I always liked the created maps in Far Cry. That was always like the best thing, like in Far Cry Two and stuff, where you could create your own maps. Three. I'm interested in reading the book. I know that they have a book out. Oh. Hmm. The story behind the cult. Oh, I guess to kind of set it up like the universe. Yeah. There you go. All right. So uh, hold on. So there's there's a little more about this. Uh, Car- Far Cry Five does feature two player online campaign co op. There is no shared progress, and only the host's progress is saved. Mm. Oh. oh yeah. yeah. That's not hey, good. Hey, what's up, Anchor? It's our good friend Anchor Man from uh, from our brethren over at. TIC, the Inner Circle Podcast. Yo, I come in. So, I, I, you know, I always say it's um, us, Tick, RGM, the uh, mm-hmm. WFC. Uh, WFC. Uh, I say TSP because I know there's short pause, but I say the short pause so that we get three letters. All of us three letter podcast guys. Ah, uh, so that's it. He was trying to give me a call. I got you. Ah. I saw my phone vibrate. I want to stop looking at it because it's charging over there. That's right. So, all right. Focused. All right, Jay. Highly trained professional. Like showing trailers. I got to watch right. these trailers. All right. So the next <laughs> one up was uh, then it, so on the vein of um, Parappa the Rapper, which I really like, from I believe the same studio is um, the sequel to Loco Roco. Loco Roco Two. Oh uh, yeah, it comes out December or something like that. Yeah. So that yeah. Mm-hmm. PSP game that was like popular on the PSP. Yep. And um, it's a platformer, which I like. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, this, this is Guacamelee. Guacamelee. This is uh, oh, yeah. Peter's most yeah. anticipated. Peace. Have a good one. Yeah. Peter's most anticipated, anticipated game. In <laughs> no, fact, yeah. Anchor came at the right time because this is Anchor's most anticipated game of 2018. Yeah. I like the Super Championship Edition I played on. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Man, the original, on the, uh, the original one was awesome. Well, Metroidvania yeah, action. Cool. Yes. Yeah. I love these kind of games. See, these kind of games appeal to me. And it was like Ben, ben and Saga to me. Not very good. <laughs> well, you know, not everybody has taste. No. Well, <laughs> I know you don't have taste. That's okay, Mike. <laughs> the first game was so good. I, I, I saw it. And I'm glad, like, the, before the showcase, um, when they were doing the pre-show, is when they showed this, and I'm glad they started off with it because this was great. And I want to know what the chickens are going to be doing. Soon-ish. Is it going to everybody? No, oh, it's PS4 what? right now. It's probably timed like the first one was. Uh, Guacamelee 2 was the only true hype it came at PGW. <laughs> see? He picked the exact right time to jump in. So I'm glad he was here to see that. Uh, this one... Oh, London Studios. So this was... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. That um, 
Ellie, right? The yeah, the game play Ellie Link. For play Link. Have you tried any of the play Link games? I have not. Yeah. Tell us about that's it. That's you. So um, it, it's in the vein yeah. of... What is this, Air Cow or whatever? Yeah, I'll talk over it. It's basically um, in the vein of like um, the uh, Jackbox games where everybody uses a phone and or a tablet to play the game. You don't use a controller. And so the Sony's Play Link is basically the same type of thing. So they got certain games that work where the PlayStation serves as a hotspot, and basically you hook up any, you download the app from the Android or, or Apple Store, and you use your phone, tablet to uh, play the game. And the, one of the games that just came out was called Hidden Agenda. It's made by the guys that made the um, the uh, the horror game, and uh, they made that uh, Until Dawn. And basically, you sit around up to six people, and you choose the uh, you choose what to do. Like, do you want to? how you want to respond to the story and it's basically looks like until dawn but it's a it's a murder scene investigation and then uh everybody uses a phone to uh navigate the cursor on the screen and to choose what they want to say and basically chooses the story and uh that's one of the games called hidden agenda then they have a uh, another one that's basically um uh, a, a trivia game and then they have a, a sing star game where you sing into your phone uh, but this is another one that you know looks along the lines of sort of choose your own adventure, but you're not doing it on your own. You're actually doing it with a couple of people, at least with the other game. Um, and it's pretty cool. Like I, I've been wanting to play. I was waiting for a couple of people to come over and uh, and do it. But it's PlayLink is just like the Jackbox scenes where it's for not using the controller, but using your phone or a tablet. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm curious about this, about this game. It's like you know you wipe a tear off her face and. It's like maybe the, the mirror where yeah. you, you know. And there are apps on the phone. Bit. They gave one for free called That's You. And basically you take a picture of yourself and uh, people vote and say like what this person would do in a certain scenario. And everybody votes on their phone. Mm. And it's kind of like a party game. But um, it's that play link thing is all with their um, trying to get like the party <laughs> box going. Gotcha. You know, and using tablets and phones. Because I can tell you the um, Jackbox party games have always been a hit on New Year's. Just hanging out, like um, you know, put I have it on my PC too, and you know, everybody just no matter what gamer you are, you know, moms, dads, everybody plays those games where everybody just uses a phone, answer the questions, and the TV serves as the kind of you know the thing. It's pretty cool. You know, it reminds me a little bit of because those Jack games are really Jackbox games are really fun. But my wife and I, we used to um, we have a game <coughs> called uh, Seen It. For the 360. Mm-hmm. Oh man, mm-hmm. I have the controllers. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah we still got the controllers mm-hmm. too. Play that. Yeah. I would love for them to revive that, or I wish that had but, downloadable content because I would love to get back into that game. We all we got so to cool. a point to where all the same questions were coming up. So right, um, but those are yeah. So that those games and there's a there's a young lady that that streams. She's she's a Twitch streamer. Forgot what her um, real name is. It's like Kristen something or her. her Handles um, little bumble bear or something like that, um, and she, like her entire Twitch channel is revolves around playing the Jackbox games, and I've checked it out a couple of times and it does seem really cool. And now, now that you've explained it to me, now I understand how it's working. Yeah, and the Jackbox so. games are cool for streaming because it puts a code up on the corner, <laughs> so when you're streaming the game, anybody <laughs> that types Peter. in that code could actually join your game. So you could have up to eighty people. Like you have a, you could have best, basically like, like spectators, and mm-hmm. you could have like eight people playing the game. But what's cool about some of the Jackbox games is that you don't get the same questions because the trick is is that people make the answers and they have to like one game called Fibbage. Right. Basically, Great everybody game. creates um, a lie, and they put all the answers together, and they, it's funny because it gets dirty. It gets like something you play it with. Yeah, the, well, <laughs> I played my mother-in-law, and my mother-in-law was the dirty one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <That was> crazy. <laughs> did you, did you play uh, Druffle? Yeah, Druffle's cool. Oh, man, every time yeah. I play that game, I laugh so hard. Everybody's a penis. Like, everybody right. throws a penis, and that's their <laughs> avatar in that game. And then there's another one. There's a T-shirt fight in the new ja- – I didn't play the new Jackbox. They just had a new one come out. But there's T-shirt knockout, and basically people – you write a slogan, and then you draw a picture, and it matches the slogan with the picture and just those random T-shirts, and people vote on which T-shirts they like. And then at the end, you could actually order the T-shirt. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, you know, Mike, you mentioned um, 
that that, that uh, scenic game. Yeah. The one that I want to come back is the 360s karaoke app. Did you ever mess with oh, that? Um, uh, oh, yeah, Lips. Lips, baby. Yeah, I still got the. Yes, I still got. I got I, the microphone. I Those are the two microphone. great microphones. Yeah. Man, oh, why? Seriously, they need to bring that back on on BC. My wife and I. It's the dumbest thing, but we have a we have a, a, a spot we go to our getaway joint. It's got you know the crazy walk-in rain shower and the big hot tub, a private pool in the room. You know, it's just an amazing spot. We love to go annually, and you know we also get drunk. So that's fantastic. And one time years ago, <laughs> we got we got drunk. We were doing, we, you know, because look, I'm not a machine, so we have to have little pause breaks every now and then. But uh, we were playing some. Uh, I had the 360 up there, and we were playing the karaoke. We just got drunk, and we're caterwauling karaoke together because the walls are thick. So we weren't bothering anybody. It was the best time. It was so Looks great. Was good. Those are good microphones too. I yeah. remember when they added support a rock band for them. Yep. Like rock band in and weren't using them and then they could use the lips microphone. I wish I could use them are... for something else too. I wish they I were know. I, I mean like this mic this microphone actually is um USB? Yeah, it's guitar hero. Ah. And I have I have um carry I have a uh PS two karaoke revolution mic, which is also USB. Uh, I loved the karaoke revolution games were awesome. I love karaoke those. revolution was good too. <laughs> so yeah, and Sony good. has like this sing star, and then basically star. now it's like you sing it to your phone, <laughs> which is kind of like, yeah, it looks weird in the the commercial, but like that's part of PlayLink, so you don't have to go buy microphones. Everybody just uses their phone and sings it to their phone. Yeah, I don't know, but it'll be nice if Microsoft does come out with you know those party games, man. It, that's always great to have, and yep. uh, they used to have it with the 360. I don't know, man. Well, I uh, remember I don't one versus one hundred. Oh yeah! Oh, don't That's get me started. That was yeah. incredible. That was awesome. That was, yeah, no, it was. Man, so many. What about so the games. arcade, man? What about oh, the arcade game room? Game, game room. We walk around. We as never, we never got our sunset uh, sunset riders. No, never got sunset riders. What a concept that was! I, I still remember. have. I was so pumped for that. I still man. have. I still have a bunch. <clears throat> My arcade is still alive. What a I think. Genius move. That yeah. was like, oh, and I don't then know they how. gave up on it. Shake <sighs> my head. Yes. All right. Next up. So it's like a uh, trailer roulette. Yeah. Loco Roco. Okay. So this is yeah, Loco Roco. Uh, so the cool thing about this game is it is, first off, it's cute as a button. Um, but it's 4K. In 4K. But it's uh, it's a platformer, and I love platformers, and this kind of this there's there's a couple of different games that this kind of reminds me of. Um, graphically, it's got this look like I don't know if you guys ever played Lovers in a uh, Dangerous Space Time. It's got kind of a look like that, but it's also it. got this little like it looks a bit like the end uh, crazy um, blob guy from uh, not Limbo. Uh, the, what was the sequel to Limbo? Oh, you're thinking of, um, damn it, uh, Inside. Yeah, Inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, I played that on the PSP a long time ago, but it's it's almost like a, a like a, a World of Goo type mm -hmm. game too. Yeah. Like it's basically you can split yourself up and and you know do things that your body manipulates and stuff like that. But yeah, it looks mm -hmm. cool. I wonder if they're going to use any of the um, you know controller kind of motion in it. Or oh, if it's just going to be a straight up stick, they're not going to use any motions. Oh. I don't know. It looks cool. Yeah, it's only thirteen bucks. I think fifteen. It's on sale, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing that I noticed too in the the PlayStation Store is that they yeah, put games bucks. on sale before they come out. Like you know, as a like I think it's like PSN discounts on them. Oh yeah. Like yeah, uh, I wish Xbox did that instead yeah, of their stupid. Stupid uh, rewards at Xbox.com, where oh, yeah, you know yeah. you have to order a game like exactly when they say to start, even though you know you pre-ordered it before. And then that's what I have yeah. a Call of Duty, so I had to cancel it and then reorder it again just to be within their you know. Yeah, uh, right. Like the the Frozen period. Frozen Wildlands on Horizon has been on sale since it was announced, and it's like fourteen bucks on PSN mm -hmm. discounts. So you know yeah. it's good that you could get you get discounts on future games. You know. Microsoft yeah. should do some of that stuff. Like, you know, I thought that's that's something I noticed too, because I saw it pop up on the PSN. But it looks like a cool game. You know, again, a sequel to a game that's a it's an old game, but you know, people in four yeah. K, it's a new one. Now, I, oh Lord Cognito, 
Lord Cognito joins us. Uh -oh. Sir. What's up? Is this Monster Hunter? This is Monster Hunter. And the reason <laughs> I the reason I included this is because as a exclusive bonus for uh, PlayStation folks, Aloy is going to be in the game. Yeah. Oh, damn, that's yeah. So. Yeah, that's how I touch. I don't know. This game, I was a little disappointed how it looked. I hope like, you could scale them, right? Like you could jump on the monsters, sort of like Dragon the Dogma. Or... I, I never played a monster hunter game before. I don't know what it is. Yeah, me neither. I haven't it's either. But, uh, but a lot of people love these games, and I'll be honest with you, this could be this this could be our our um, gateway to hopefully getting some sort of scale bound again. Look at that dude's this uh, that dude's um, sword though. Yeah. Reminds me of remember anybody remember a Dreamcast game called Sword of the Berserk? No, never had no. that. Oh my goodness, dude had one eye and a big giant sword, <coughs> and uh, I mean it was more of a uh, of an action uh, third person. Yeah, it's just action RPG, right? So I mean, this is this online four player co op or no? I, I believe so. I'm, I know you build parties and go and get monsters and stuff like that, but I don't know if uh, if it's online. So, I'm sure it is. But there she is. There's Aloy. Yeah. No. Oh. That's pretty cool. Aloy. Was they got it. Yeah, that's how you use a new IP, right? Yep. There you go. Oh shit! Is that? Oh, look at that! Is that yes. we're getting on Xbox? Is that? Uh, no. Is that the recall <laughs> robot? Well, no. no. That's um uh, the the. <laughs> Oh shoot! What's the name of the the those, those raptor things? Yeah, the what the hell? Like a recoil. Yeah. Well, now, yeah. No, obviously, obviously, this is a multiplat. I was actually very yeah. surprised Microsoft that Xbox was getting this, but um, yeah. Hey, it, so but I but I put that trailer in because Aloy is a special character, and um, Aloy is such a good character. Man, what a what a yeah. what another again what another story Horizon. Yeah, I'm not. No. I'm not that far into it though. Oh, pixel <laughs> junk. Oh, this just came out. This is a VR game. Yeah, I wanted to include a couple VR games. And you have you have the PSVR, right, Jeff? Yeah. Yep. I love it. I think it's great. By the I'm, way, I have that Vive also. And you know, with the VR, I'm very impressed. At, like what they were able to do with the <laughs> with the cameras. Man, we're getting uh, we're getting invaded in the chat room tonight. What's up, gaming addict? <coughs> Gaming ad, Lord up, man? Cognito, man, we got a party going but, on. Yeah, this is, but you know, the thing is that it's made by Pixel Junk, and they made a bunch of like PlayStation Three games. I think the Pixel Junk, but yeah, the PlayStation VR has some great games, and they're actually getting a lot of the games coming out of preview or just come, the really good games from the Steam place. Like, you know, what this uh, reminds me of? I'm gonna back this trailer up a little bit. You know what it reminds me of? A uh, a VR version of Root Beer Tapper. Uh, yeah. Pretty much, okay. exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you like build the burgers, and you have to keep them. You have to keep them as they're coming. Keep them as they're coming. Yeah, I gotta try this game. I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's like ten bucks, fifteen bucks. Mm. Man, but it's Girl. just fun when you just get in beyond throwing stuff at people. <laughs> it's pretty fun. That does look fun. By the way, uh, the no audio is on purpose for anybody who's just joining us. Um, I just didn't want us talking over the audio. Obviously, you can go to PlayStation's YouTube channel and see all of these uh, on there because that's where I got them from. Yeah. So yeah, I came out of Halloween. Oh, okay. Got them from the Xbox site. <laughs> you got them all posted. <laughs> PlayStation Takeover. Right. That's all right. You know, these are all of our good friends. I I appreciate everyone who's who's jumped into the chat room tonight. You know, I'll say it a million times. That chat room is the reason we're here. Yep. Otherwise, we could just go into a Ooh, party and talk to each other. But you know, we love interacting. We we love having a uh, London studio. What yeah, this was. Um... Oh, hang on, I got the thing up. <laughs> this was. Um... Oh, snap. No, that. Uh, that uh, hang on, Hong Kong massacre. Oh. Oh. Oh, and I think London Studios though they made the. Let me see. They made the heist. I thought yeah. in the, in, yeah. uh, in the VR demo. Yeah, that was really good. 
That was good. Another, you know, that was another example of facial animation that really, mm-hmm. you're sitting there in the chair, and the, the facial animation, yeah, it's not like super, it, I hate to say it's not super blood clear, because people think it's crap. Blood and truth, I'm sorry, I did not mean to say Hong Kong you know, Massacre, it's just blood I and truth. I hate to say that it's not, it's it's not like 4K clear, but it's, it's, it's clear. Like, you look, you can see the facial animations, and that's another thing, where those guys are fighting each other when he got stabbed and stuff, I was like, yeah. yeah, it's kind of creepy. They have the dude standing right next to you. It is creepy. The yeah, facial like, animations hey. in that game. Yep. Yeah. So basically, they took the London Heist and made this game now. Oh wow, that's good. I want more of that. Yeah, that demo was incredible. That was fun. Yeah. So I mean, these are the things that. And then that car scene and stuff. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, these are the things that that VR excels at. And yeah. you know, I think you know it's not taking over. It's not taking over traditional gaming. You're still going to have control. Oh, yeah, but no, it is I, a new type of game, yes. and it should be – keep making stuff for it. Because I still – you know, but I feel the same way about this as I as I do about the – that's a nice touch. I <laughs> do about the uh, X. I think it's $100 too expensive right now. Yeah. My personal it's opinion. Down, it's, it's coming down in price, so – Coming down. Come down $100, and I, and I think I can yeah. – I think I can – But if it. I had to say get anyone – Get the PlayStation One right now because the PC One. No, obviously I don't have a great, PC worth it. It would but be the PSVR. PlayStation One is so simple to set up and just to go. Yeah, um, yeah it, no, it, it would obviously be a, be and, a PSVR. And, and the comfort is the thing that really sold me on it was how comfortable it is because you could keep it on and really. And the other one will just screw my face, like squeeze your face with that. It just sits right on your forehead like a visor. Yeah, it real and the comfort really matters. There's games that get you a little nauseous here and there, but. Yeah, that's just VR in general. Right. Yeah, it all depends on the game, though. Yeah. Like, Eve Valkyrie, I was playing fine, and then there was one map where <laughs> I was going up and down, and I got... Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm out of this. Yeah, like one of the uh, VR World games, where you jump from, uh, you know, on the planets and stuff. It was like... That yeah, one, I, yes. I can't do that too long. It's like, yes. ah, okay, that's... At first, I was like, this is cool, and then... Well, yeah. I got to, like, the like, half, like, a little bit through, I'm like, oh, no, this is this is not... I don't feel good. Yeah. Whoa, what is this game? You come on. Gaming X says, interesting layout. Thanks. Hopefully, hopefully you're saying Center that. Square! Yes, hopefully yeah. he is saying that in a good way. <laughs> John Herb is in the center square. There yeah. I am. Um, you know what trailer I did not get, and I think it was because I just grabbed them all in a playlist, and I'm wondering if I just missed it, and if I am, I'm so sorry. Two, actually. That, that I, game I played on PC is incredible. Which it's one's free. This? Rec room. Oh yeah, yeah. It is um, so much fun. I think I missed the Spider Man and the Gear and the God of War videos. How in the hell oh, did man. I miss that? You better get those. I'm gonna show. You know what? I'm gonna show them next week. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. If I don't have them now. What about uh, maybe, What about Concrete Genie? I think I got Concrete Genie, but it was oh, only okay. an interview. So while this is playing, let's talk about Spider Man and God of War. Spider Man looks phenomenal. Insomniac, yeah. man. I know you, Peter. You don't agree. And yeah, I, 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 that's I was, why I wanted yeah. to bring it up because I, I want yeah. to hear. I want to hear you on this. I was disappointed. To me, it seems more like you know a a Spider Man skinned game. At least this particular trailer. I hope the next trailer, you know, it pulls me back in and and really feel like, hey, I'm Spider Man, you know, and that's what you want to be. Yeah, they didn't show too much of a Spider Man moves, like the like swinging and stuff like that. A yeah, lot of, like just a little, uh, yeah. But they did. But, uh, I mean, a lot of them. City looks pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks good, but you know, when I'm want to play a Spider Man, I want to feel like Spider Man, you know, and not like a, a more generic, you know, Spider Man skin game that's still good, but not gives me that vibe. Yeah, but I have a feeling you're going to be able to swing, you know. Oh yeah, I mean the previous, you know, trailers we've seen. It's uh, I, I got it's a open better feel. Free roam. Yeah, as they said. So right, so. which um, Spider Man Two was a little bit more free roam. Spider Man Two was free roam. That was a criticism of one was that it wasn't free roam. Right, you fell off the, the building, you died. Right, but at the time, I that mean, was Activision. Yeah, but at the time, I mean, you were dealing with old hardware. I mean, it was only so much you could do. Yeah, Spider Man Two mapped New York City. That's how I learned a lot of New York City. <laughs> Right, Spider Man Two. No, I so when I walked was... around the city, I was like, "Oh, I know where this is." Yeah, but yeah, that looks incredible. That Spider Man game, man, 
and if they make a custom console with that, that would be man. It? Remember like when a they red one? No Dude. worries, they'll put a sticker on it. Put a Spider-Man sticker. Dude, remember what? Well, look at the Vader. Look how bad it was. It just put a sticker on it. Oh, this game will get me nauseous. What the uh -huh. hell is this? Yeah, I know. It is so chaotic. Uh, no. it's like, yeah, but what? the control. Like, why people yeah. people didn't like the controller on the Battlefront <laughs> Two package. I I thought the controller looked great. Yeah, I love the controller, but the the console itself. Yeah, the console itself. But I still, you know, one of their best custom consoles was the Batman console. If they can make a Spider-Man yeah. one like the Batman one, oh wow! Well, my favorite's that Call of Duty one that's out right now. So damn awesome. Was there a was there an order one? Or am I thinking wrong? Because if there was, I thought that looked pretty decent. Oh yeah, Sprint Vector. Um, I I don't remember. I don't think there was. Uh, there was something. Maybe it was. The maybe Destiny it was Destiny. Were, the Destiny ones look really good. Like the one the uh, silver and gold Destiny, with yeah. the map on it. The, the Taken King one. The Taken King one was gorgeous. Yeah, that looked good. Yeah. the... Call of Duty one makes me nauseous. All right, here's uh, yeah, here's um, concrete jungle, concrete jungle. This one got a lot of talk. Man, I feel shoot, I feel bad for not grabbing the. Well, there's always next week. Yeah, I know. I just feel I feel bad. I can get. I grabbed as many trailers as I could. To get us ready for this. And I failed to get the one that. With the most push. So this looks. Really interesting. Wow. Yeah I mean. And they come alive and. Uh, yeah and Anchor was saying. Physics based web slinging. On Spider-Man. Which they have talked about a lot. And they did say that the uh, the QTE events were much more subdued than what they showed in the first, because that got a lot of criticism. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, but it's but not. But that they are not there anymore, or it's, they just that or was, they just didn't show them. They are they are less than five percent of the game, is what they said. Yeah, I don't have a problem with QTEs. I don't if either. They executed right then. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with them in Rise. I, I don't know oh, what yeah, the I, I don't know what the yeah, big Rise. deal was. Yeah, this game looks interesting. It looks yeah, it really does. It's pretty and artistic. Did this it's kind of cool. Anything else? Who are they are? Pixel Plus. I don't know. I don't think I've seen anything else. <laughs> yeah, they make any, made anything else. I don't think they. Yeah, I don't think they have. It looks neat. Looks neat. I'm not sure if I would be able to play it though. I don't know if I would buy what, it. What is the name of that game again? Concrete, Concrete Jungle. Jungle. Yeah, but it looks it looks very pretty. It might be yeah. a good one uh, to watch a, somebody streaming. It's unique. It's definitely is. Yeah. So the other one was God of War. Yeah. Which has has looked incredible from Jump. And uh, the the new trailer that they had looked really really impressive too. Yeah, it said a lot of fighting in it, from what I heard. Yeah, I'm okay with that. No, uh, that's what people were concerned with. They thought that it wasn't going to be uh, that much fighting in it. Well, because of the camera angle, they they thought it was going to be slow combat. Right. No, yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Still a little uh, yeah, underwhelming uh, to me, but. I know, but I please easy. <laughs> I guess I I, I like. Do you, do you like? Have you played any God of Wars or no? I played three. Yeah, three was good. I, I haven't. Still need too. to. Still need to play it. No. So overall, while while this is finishing up, um, you know, thoughts on the showcase and what what we're what we're getting for you know the upcoming year. I think it's good. I mean, I like these events because it gives people, you know, warm, fuzzy feelings. And going into holidays, you know, it's like, hey, you know. Oh, Concrete I, Genie. Yeah. Concrete Genie. Sorry, not Jungle. I was looking at Concrete, concrete Jungle. jungle. Was that a movie, Predator. actually? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Predator Concrete Jungle. Sorry. 
Yeah, but these events, I think, are, are good. Are good for the fans. Yeah. Yeah. Just to keep momentum going. It's like, oh, yeah, look, this is coming out. What do you and not in the Super 4 future. And just showing some new trailers, which is good, too. Although, I was underwhelmed with Spider-Man and, and uh, uh, God of War. But still, it's, you know, sh show some new stuff. That's good. Like it. I agree. Yeah. No. Um, Jez, you didn't get a chance to see the showcase, though, right? No, I didn't see it live. I just saw a couple of the trailers. Okay, but but just the whole show, like the beginning where they showed the, uh, yeah, the beginning show, that that panel was annoying. Yeah, but they it's did like cut that out and just sh you know show the trailers and just have one host that announces what it is and, and get over with. That other, it's, it's so cheesy. You. <laughs> Uh, Maybe I'm getting too old for that. Get stuff. out! He uses the motion sensor get to uh, out. to draw <laughs> of the controller. That would be he cool. Uses the motion. Yeah, it says it uses the motion sensor. It uh, using DualShock's full motion sensor, you can effortlessly create stunning landscapes that come to life. Hmm. And now uh, it was funny because um, the only game that I saw he used that really is like the uh, Tearaway Unfolded and uh, yeah, and the other game uh, was it Infamous where you could spray paint with it. And what is it? It wasn't, uh, you know, the, the game we haven't seen much more of, Dreams. Yeah, what is that? Hmm. Yeah, man, those guys might be having drinks keep with... Uh, keep yeah, them dreaming. Yeah, they might be, ha they might be off... They're chilling with Capybara. Yeah. And, I don't uh, even remember what the game was about. Project Spark. <coughs> All right, I'm not going to get some little hate here. Pixel Opus is an in-house Sony Interactive Entertainment developer. It's their own. Oh, cool. That's the people that make that game. Which is probably why you don't see much of Dreams. Founded in 2014. They made Entwined in 2014 and now making Concrete Genie in 2018. All right. Okay. Entwined was that um, yeah, the yeah. thing with the, uh, <clears throat> the blue and light. Yeah, I remember that. You know, all this reminds me is I need to go back and play Unravel. Oh, you haven't played it yet? I got through the trial... <laughs> It's okay. Oh. It was cute. The yarn devils, you know, whatever. No, oh. it's all right. But I mean, free with uh, access, so yeah. All right, so they I could be doing. They also have the other show, the PSX. So maybe they'll show it there. Uh, maybe. Well, what do we? But, when's, we when's that again? Uh, December first, usually yeah. near the video game awards. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or do we do we think we're gonna see anything else that we haven't seen yet at PSX? Maybe dreams, maybe um, yeah. Just maybe dream. Uh, people keep saying Bloodborne too, but I don't know. Ooh, that would be uh, that'd be better great. play the first one. Yeah, which I have, but I still need yeah, to play. I like so many games, it's like I have a lot of PlayStation Four games. Well, it just shows play those, or I barely touch them. You know. Yeah, and I think Mike, you said this before. I think it, it's another thing where I think Sony, I think Microsoft needs to have some other. Something we can't just wait to E3 every it's year. It's coming. No, I know. It's yeah. coming. You think though? I mean, they used to have a show. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys remember they used to have an X. It used to be called X2 or X4 yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, like it's uh, weird because they did the spring showcase, but I like, think Juan Phil said went it. on stage yes. when he was like, "They want the console now. This is their main thing." And then down the road, hopefully soon, probably next year, we'll get the games. Mm-hmm. I mean that's what uh, oh, what's his name uh, promised. Well, that's you know? right. L life services, console, and then games, and that's going to be in this order. So now it's time for them to deliver. Yeah, they need to step up. Yep. But my whole thing is, if the console, the X, is still part of the Xbox One family, then this is not a new launch that they need to develop for. It's basically they should have been developing these games already for the Xbox One. And it just happened to be better now for the X. So, well, like, there, the, the fact that there's, there's an a extent, dire... it, there's an extent to where they have. I mean, Halo Wars two and Halo five, and I mean, it's not like. See, this is the other thing. The, there's so much stuff around this. Like, I, there's legit. The, the you know anybody who's listened to me for any length of time knows that I am as concerned about first party um, and second party stuff as anything. How <coughs> How Microsoft is walking away from a Sunset Overdrive 2 right now is, is mind-boggling. How they are, you know, 
you know, they they basically remedy has walked away from them. I mean, we have there is mm-hmm. legitimate cause. I get it, and and I have spoken about it. We've all spoken about it, but yeah. this idea that there is zero games, there are still games that are com- that 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 Microsoft puts out, and you know whether or not people buy them is a whole different thing. But it's not like. Quantum Break didn't come out. It's not like Halo Wars 2 didn't come out. A Forza Horizon has been out. Halo 5 has been out. They have they have put games out. Sunset yeah, Overdrive, unfortunately, you know, DR4 we're... came out. Right, Dead Rising 4 <laughs> came out. These are games that, you know, that are on the market that you can play, that you can buy. People buying them is a whole separate issue, and I've also spoke about that. But, you know... Just in, just in but, general, but people, those people buying out? a game... And attachment rate are like low. Yeah, but even like a big blockbuster like Horizon Zero Dawn, where it's like, you know, like if you have sixty or seventy million PlayStations, you would ex- expect that a blockbuster like that will sell like, you know, but you over 10, like, 10, over over fifteen million copies, and they don't. But. but like we see what we just saw with those games, like everybody's like, oh, what's London? What's Sony Bend working on? What's London Studios working on? That that company made Entwined, and now they're making another game. The thing is, is that if you keep the studios, you know you're gonna probably get something out of them. Unfortunately, with those uh, Quantum Break and and Rise. They abandoned those studios are gone, so we're not getting those games, which makes me go like, well, there is nothing in development from those studios because they well, have Remedy, cut ties with yeah. them. Remedy, Re- right? Remedy, no, and, and that is that. Uh, is, Crytek. Yep. Well, Crytek. Uh, I don't think Remedy's gone though. I mean, they're not working on QB well, two, work- but <clears throat> I don't think they uh-huh. severed ties with Microsoft. They made so much money off of Quantum Break. I mean, Microsoft took a bath on it. Just a ridiculous, disastrous yeah. bath. But they're Remedy both. had one of their best years ever. But now they go yes. multi-plat. Right, supposedly. and that's, that's what we're saying, is they're going multi-plat. And, and maybe maybe Quantum Break selling better would not have done that. Um, yeah, and that's the risk with, with second-party studios, you know? It but certainly it's is. It's like, I mean, like, if it's not your own, then, you know, you don't control them. They can do, walk but away but with why Twine sell well that they're making this new game? Like, I'm just saying, like, in Twine, like, you got to give chances. You got to give yeah. everybody second chances, and and you know yeah. they have to give these games. Lion's seats head fixed. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. yeah. But, but there's a difference between Sony, yeah. Sony and Microsoft. Sony yeah. is more art, and Microsoft is more science and business. And, you know, <laughs> business. business. And if business. it doesn't make, yeah. if it doesn't make make their twenty five percent whatever it is yeah. revenue, then it's not worth their time. Oh. While hey, Sony hang on, guys. Like, I gotta they, I gotta cut the podcast and get in my car and get out to. Uh, yeah. The Midwest, because Anchorman apparently has my Xbox One X, and I've got to go kill him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> snap. He's playing it right now. Maybe can, maybe can uh, stick a bit. Yeah, hey, mi- while, you're, while you got it, Anchor, can you do an unboxing video for us, please? <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to know what kind of – if they could announce and release Super Lucky's Tales, like, in that short amount of time, then what is going on? <clears throat> like, where are the games well, at? Well, like, Super, Super Lucky's Tales is a third-party game. Yeah. It's just it's only on Xbox yeah. though, and and you know yeah, but it was yeah, already on right. uh, on PC on, though. But no, on, this but is a port. Well, 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 but not it was a port. VR. No, no, it's not a port. It was a VR game first. Sequel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but this is a brand new game. This is not, it's not the, the same VR type of game. This is a new game. VR game. Right. right. No, I know, but at least it's 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 but it's not like brand new new. It's a it's a new game, but I mean it's. I got what you're saying. Based on the existing IP. It's a sequel to a VR game. Right. I get it. But they announced it and released it. Within the six months, yeah. so and, where, yeah. like, well, and we forget, you know, happen? Cuphead, Cup, and Cuphead's going to be huge. I mean, Cuphead's a yeah. while, you know, but but at, at least that's one that they, you know, um, that that got released. You know, but after but, a long yeah. time, but what I think with Sony is like, you know, they release games, and if they break even, it's good enough for them because you know, it, it keeps games on the shelf. I mean, and they, you know, they're selling games, so they they. You know, it's right. just uh, the, yeah. the I just the thing that makes it so was that <clears throat> I never really felt my Xbox ever had like they never like I never experienced like this kind of drought in all the years of Xbox. Like I can't remember. I know the. And then we're gonna go right to um, we're gonna go right to the uh, retro wreck. That way we can get in and out. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, I think we might be back. Yeah, I think we're back. We're Are back. we back? Oh, spinning a little. Hang Almost. on. Flash. Flashing. They're back. Lies. Okay. Lies. Super yeah. says we're back. All right. Sorry All about right. that, folks. We must be having some storms rolling through here or something because my power literally went out for about 30 seconds and then came uh, back on and I had to reboot everything. But it looks like everything's okay. And it uh, looks like we could pick up right where we left off on the podcast. Uh, I think Microsoft wasn't quite happy with what we said. <laughs> so they yeah. Threw a monkey wrench. <laughs> yep. So Phil's like, those bastards. Out. Those yeah. bastards. No x oh God, Phil, hey, what? They, they oh know. They Look, talk about my release schedule. There is a difference between, um, you know, there's a difference between healthy criticism and then, you know, having no respect yeah. for them. We respect right. them. I, I, Phil, Phil has done an, a, an admirable job of getting things done, which is why we're hoping that, as you said, Peter, live services, hardware, and then get the games rolling. Um, yeah. You know, that's what we're hoping for. All right. Yeah, I'm checking the stream myself. It looks like we are good. So those of you who uh, – it's like an intermission. Get up get up and yeah. use the bathroom. So that's yeah. Right. Seven-inning stretch. Yeah. All right. So I thought it was a part. Because of that and other things and the fact that we are running a little long, um, no thanks to Jez. Uh, we're going <laughs> to... Or, or thanks to Jez. Yeah, or cool. thanks to Jez. Actually, i tell you what, man. Anchor's right, man. You you fit in quite nicely. Yeah, Center Square. Back in my book. Yeah. Center yeah. Square. <laughs> um, we are going to... the room together. Yeah. No. So we're going to take our... Um, Joe and Rubis. <laughs> bring back. We're going to take our Nintendo talk and push it to next week. It'll be the first uh, thing we talk about next week because, um, you know, Nintendo is having um, one hell of a year. Man, between Zelda and uh, Mario and Switch sales, um, they're heading into the holidays looking damn good. And the holidays are even going to get better for them. Um, and I think Hanukkah yeah. is when our Switch is finally coming. Um, so we'll get in on that action, too. Um, but uh, got my yeah. Switch day one. Never regretted it. Yep, same yeah. here. I know Peter has a slightly different... Yeah, I mean it's 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 okay. It's it's very good for traveling, and you know Zelda and Mario Kart and Mario World Odyssey are very good, and that's I don't know. That's about it. I mean it's it's a fun uh, take it on the road with you uh, handheld console. Yeah. It's All right. right. So we'll talk about that next week. Um, I know Frankie will be back. I think. And uh, you know, Jez, you're gonna you have one of those wonderful open invitations now, man. If you, uh, thank you, man. Whenever you want, jump in. Just say, hey, Thanks. man, I want to come on the show tonight, and we'll have you. Because, uh, yeah, he's he, decent. He may actually be 4K 60 frames. But might. Yeah. It's got a lot approved. Yeah. All right. Now, Jez, you get to witness the awesomeness that is. Wands we do have a nurse on standby. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't all that. The song is. It is. Number 27 tonight. Yes. Still holding out on the uh, on the premise. All OG hardware. Yes. Where's that key? Yeah. Indeed. Right. Oh, could you imagine if they brought that back to back to Pat and oh my god. Uh, and it was a can that we need online. Yes, well, and that would be the problem. That's probably why it won't. Yeah, it's the best part. <laughs> Lone Wolf, however, could. Nice Lone... spike. What is that? <laughs> uh, Dead or Alive on the That was the original one, yep. Turtles on the NES. Yep. Need to get some BMX Triple X in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dave Mira. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let me load the. Let me load the video up. I should have done this. I'm still getting used to some of the. Uh, here we go. This is a good one this week. I think so. 
All right, so we're going back to uh, 1991. You can go ahead and kick it off. Uh, it's uh, Sega Genesis, and it's Star Control. This is a retro recommendation. Uh, originally uh, developed by Toys for Bob, who were founded in 1989. Uh, they did Star Control and Star Control 2, but after that, they didn't have any more ties with it. In 2003, they were bought by Activision, and they remain a subsidiary to this day. Uh, most recently, they worked on the Skylanders games. It was published under the name uh, Ballistic, which was uh, Accolade. And Eccoli was founded in 1984 by Alan Miller and former Activision co-founder Bob Whitehead, famous for Test Drive and Hardball. They were purchased by Infograms in 1999 and eventually in 2017 by Billionsoft, right prior to the announce of 2017's Bubsy Bully Strike Back. So we can come back under the Accolades title. Or header. Uh, the gameplay here is single or multiplayer action strategy game. And it features three modes. Uh, there's a practice mode in which you can learn about the various 14 ships in the game uh, or, and engage in free practice uh, choosing your ships. There's a melee mode, which is a tag team ship-to-ship -ship combat with the uh, last side where the ship standing wins. And then the full game, which is a, a turn-based strategy game, kind of bare bones, but a turn-based strategy game uh, with action sections with uh, ship-based you know, combat. Uh, the game had a star map, which had a kind of a cool, in its day, rotating 3D effect. And um, the planets could either be hidden, where you would uncover them as you move, or a full map like this. The stars are you know, actually kind of planets, but uh, there were life stars, where you could make colonies, mineral stars, where you could make mines, and uh, dead worlds. The player can spend a turn building a colony or mine. Colonies can be used to recruit uh, crew for ships. Uh, the the sh crew basically function as the ship's hit points. And so as you take damage and you lose crew, um, that, that's your hit points. Uh, the mines generate one star buck per turn in existence. Your star base creates one as well. And the ships range from, say, five to... 30 or 40 Starbucks to make them. Each of the two factions has seven ships, and they range from small scout ships, kind of throwaways, to, you know, large battle cruisers and dreadnoughts. Uh, the uh, other thing a player can make on any one of the planets is a fortification, which would protect a mine or a, um, a colony from being destroyed if a ship is in orbit. Here we see one of the small Alliance show fix these scouts basically getting in the butt from a big ill wrath Avenger and it's a devastating flame weapon so the little scout ship just didn't have much for them. Mm -hmm. The uh, players can also find hidden precursor uh, mines and uh, colonies where they can find precursor devices to get boosts for ships like uh, crew pods to uh, increase the level of crew and, and other types of ships. In this one, I think this is... An, Il, uh, an Irkwan Dreadnought that's been in a lot of fights is kind of tore up against an Earthling cruiser. The cruiser's slow, but it has long-range surplus MX nuclear missiles that can reach out and touch somebody. And uh, coming against the hurt <laughs> Dreadnought, it had the advantage here. But the Dreadnoughts, uh, they have a very powerful uh, fusion weapon up front, and they can launch uh, aut autonomous fighters. And uh, those, are, those are big nasties and expensive. But uh, generally speaking, it's kind of a race for resources and uh, set of mines and, and using the right ship versus each. Um, they each have their different strengths and weaknesses. And here we have another Dreadnought coming after that stalwart cruiser, but it's not hurt. And uh, the cruiser is going to be in some trouble. But the ships are, mm. are really fun to play because they're, uh, they're different. Uh, they're, you know, in, in appearance and primary weapons and alternate functions. You've got the... Uh, one of my favorites is the Airloo Skiff, which is a alliance ship. It's very small and can't really take much in the way it hits, but it has an inertialist drive, so your moves are completely free of momentum, and you can uh, really kind of dance around enemy fire, and it has a omnidirectional laser, so as long as you're close, you can make hits and chip away at big things. And head-to-head -head two player combat, it was kind of like the old old classic game Space War, but brought to like the 90s. And it had a, a little bit of humor with it, too. Some of it kind of Maybe a little crass. One of the uh, uh, Alliance ships is the Sirene Penetrator. It looks kind of like a dildo. And uh, it's filled with space sirens. They're the space vixens that will uh, sing a, a song and uh, lure the crew off of the enemy ship. And they can pick them up and add to their crew or, or murder them or whatever. But weaken the ship in that way. But uh, the basic... Uh, 
no, it's not too deep the strategy thing, but but it adds a little depth to otherwise it was basically a head to head head to head ship combat game. But it was just just a blast with a you know head to head you know, couch co op play. This is uh, the artwork uh, in the in the practice mode. You can go in and see the different details of the ships and and uh, get the like the point values for the different attributes. And this is that small skiff I was talking about. <laughs> Sorry, JD. Uh, I love that it has headlights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's about right. But uh, yeah, there's not a, not a lot of. Um, not a lot of music to this game, but here we have one of those skiffs uh, up against a, uh, a Vux intruder. Intruder's got a very powerful laser, but it's it's aligned with the ship and can only be fired on those access access even. And the skiff can kind of dance around it and peck away at it. The uh, one thing about the plane versus the AI, they never use the secondary abilities. The ship that's going to lose here has the ability to launch little limpet mines that can attach to a ship and slow their movement and, and turning rate, which would uh, definitely help it out in this case. But on standard, the PC doesn't, uh, the uh, player, uh, non-player character doesn't use it very much. But yeah, I really, I really enjoy this game coming up. This is one of those that I would again trade my my uh, Super NES for. You know, with my buddy and we, we, this is how we played exclusives back in the day when we could only get the one. Uh, one of the interesting things about this game, it was one of the first 12 meg games for the Genesis, 12 meg cartridge. So that was kind of a a first for it. They was received pretty well. Uh, Megatech, uh, the Mega Drive magazine, gave it a 90% and called it, gave it a Hyper Game Award. Computer Gaming World said it was an enjoyable challenge, and in 1996 ranked it the 127th best game of all time. And also, um, oh no, that's a dead note. Uh, it's relatively readily available today. Uh, you can find it online pretty easily in the low teens for a loose cartridge, and. Um, uh, even a complete set with you know manual and all that's only around fifty. If you're one of those types of collectors, me, I just look for the playable stuff. So I got it on the cheap. But uh, this is something I'm looking forward to having a couple buddies over soon that used to play this and bust it out in a couple other retro games. So that is why I've made it this week's recommendation. Nice. I like it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's you know kind of one of the, you don't really hear a lot about it when people talk about. You know, Genesis games, it's not like your Streets of Rage 2 or your Sonic 2 or something, but but yeah, I spent a lot of time uh, doing the different modes. The uh, the full game has, uh, it, it lacked because the cartridge doesn't have any storage or, or save like the PC version would have. It lacks uh, the mission editor that the PC version of the game had, but it does have uh, several built-in um, scenarios that the PC game didn't have. So there's different... Uh, special scenarios and the head-to-head -head production race and all that that you can play. In this one, it's another battle with that Vux Intruder, but he's up against a, a Yeehat Interceptor, or Terminator, which has the special ability of uh, deploying a shield, which is uh, bad news for the Vux. Of course, playing versus the uh, computer was never as hard as playing versus a, a human, but uh, that's where the game really shines, is in the head-to-head. The -head. Kind of like um, uh, the other, res the other uh, recommendation I did a while back, the... Uh, North and South. It's really much better as a two-player couch thing. Nice. But yep, I'm really happy to have that one back in my collection because it's just it's there's there really wasn't much a lot there wasn't much like it in the day. No, I mean no, not on console anyway. No, um, I don't remember looking it up. You guys remember Ballistic, right? Oh yeah. Anybody else? Nope. Was it I, only on Genesis? So, if I said the name Accolade to you, would mm -hmm. you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Accolade. Okay. So, um, if I might, Juan, a little extra history, sure. if I may. Yep. So, Accolade had a publishing label called Ballistic. So it was used for all of Sega's Genesis games right before their their um, lawsuit. So Accolade got <laughs> Accolade and Sega went to court because Accolade wanted to make games for the Genesis but wanted to but didn't want to A pay all the royalties that, that would make them 
um, exclusive, and they wanted to get around their their um, lockout, uh, where you know you had the Sega thing at the beginning, um, and so they reverse engineered their cartridges to get around Sega's lockout, so yep. they could make their own games. And they did it under the Ballistic name. It's not unlike um, a claim had a publishing label, Flying Edge, that they put a bunch of stuff out on, like the Simpsons games and stuff like that. You know who um, else did that with the NES? Oh, Midway did it too, by the way. Midway mm-hmm. used a claim as part of their... But who was the other one? It was uh, Konami and Ultra Games. Yes. So, um, so under um, Ballistic, you had games like Star Control, um, Hardball. I think, I think Hardball was under Ballistic at the time. Um, later hardballs came in under Accolade once they had settled in court. Um, Turrican, the the Test Drive 2, the Duel. Um, I think Double Dragon might have been under Ballistics. Um, was produced, yeah, it was published under Ballistic. I was just looking it up. And so that's how they, that's how they got around it. So just a little extra. I, I this one this was something I really knew about. I knew more about this because I worked for um, Games and Gadgets at the time, which then became EB, which then became you know what's GameStop now. But um, I remember I remember the lawsuit too. So oh yeah, it was not a not a small deal and kind of set a precedent. Mm-hmm. Yep. So um, so there you have it. This is Juan's retro rec for the week. Yep, for this week. We'll be back in with another next week. Um, Super NES or Nintendo, I think, is up next. Rock on. Whatever you, whatever you decide upon. So, all right. Being as it is 11.30, I do know that uh, it is a hair bit late. But uh, I got a long day tomorrow. I know you do. Mm. So we're gonna we're gonna try to roll this, wrap this up, and get out of here. Um, one very quick question, just around the table: uh, the um, proposed GameStop six months for sixty dollar deal that you can rent used games for as long as you want. It sounds too good to be true. So I'll wait and see. All right, Juan. Probably not. Jazz. Sixty dollars a month or sixty for six again? months. It's ten bucks a month for six months, and you get to keep the game at the end. Do you? I mean, I don't. I didn't hear how... that. Yeah, if you read it, it says at the end of the last one, you get to keep the last game that you huh. pick. That's okay. why I was thinking it's too good to be true. All right. Yeah, I, I think it's it's neat. Um, I, I I think it's not that bad to try out games, but if they put blacklists on games, like you can't rent out certain ones. It's all the used stuff. It's anything used. Any any category? Like I believe it is. I used? believe it's anything used. Yeah, <clears throat> anything used. Even the games that someone like the day after Origins came out, someone had returned it. I was like, sweet, I could have did that. Oh, really? Okay, because I'd be surprised that they want somebody to. To have that game out rental and they can't sell for fifty four dollars. See, but this is how they get you. So you see the origins, you think like, oh, it's a good game. I want to either, you know, keep that at the end. But then you know, it's only one game. Yeah, I, I rental, think, and then it's like, what do you do? You know. I bet you this. So I, I think it's cool, but I think it's more of an incentive to get you into their store. Of course it is. And yeah, that's yeah. What it is so they can yeah, sell you all the crap and pre order games. At the end, it says. Swap as often as you want and keep the last one that you grab. I don't trust them. Yeah, I don't trust them either. That's I don't the, trust them. I mean, if it if that's the way it is, awesome. But there's no way they're just. Gonna, I mean, that I don't know. I don't they'll have it. they'll have some sort of limit with you doing your game, turning it around in a day or so. Yeah. I have no current gen disc, and I don't expect that to ever change. So we need oh. digital rentals, like a digital game fly. Yep. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. So much. Yes. So, all right. Um, I just wanted because you know that was that was something else that that had made some news and um, you know wanted to check it. So next week I we'll like talk. It. Yeah, next week we'll talk Nintendo because uh, Nintendo's having a great year. Of course, we are going to get our reactions from uh, our Xbox One X's. Those of us who hopefully will get them uh, in time, um, yeah. perhaps. Uh, well, the, the the interface is the same, so I don't know if there's anything really to show off. But I'll try to the first 
let us know. One, you know, one of us will get it first, and one of us will do an unboxing. Yeah, be NLG Foundry. You gotta, yeah, you gotta, yeah, there you go. Well, side I know side. for sure I'm getting it tomorrow at midnight. This so. is true. You need to take you need to take video. I'm pointing like he can see me. Hold on, I'm pointing you down there. <laughs> you need to take video and, and pictures of the event so that we yeah, can show that next week. Um, yeah, they're yeah. live streaming it, right? The New York yeah, City Periscope. Yeah, but I want Mexico. I want Nathan's I want Nathan's uh, home video on this. Yeah, we're going to the Microsoft store in Ohio, Kenwood. Yeah, so. awesome. Anyone in Ohio, come join me. Streaming so, on Mixer. Yep. So uh, that, that's actually what other people are doing. I heard like people who stream on Mixer are offering to stream the whole thing on Mixer. So. Yeah, because you get the points, right? True. So, yep. Thanks. Well, if you figure it out, Nathan, get get to it. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll get those. We'll we'll watch that next week, and uh, we'll we'll also. I want to know. Um, from you guys, and I don't want to discuss it tonight, but this will be for next week. Um, whether or not, I want to know what you think of of the of the systems reviews. I've I've got my own couple of ditties on this, but uh, think about that for next week, boys. I think it's too early right now. So People, the patches aren't here. So. Well, save it for it's next week. Save it for next I'm week. I'm it's not a, worth it to do it this week anyway. I, that's I, I know. I just I want to I want to um I want to discuss that next week. So, uh, Jez. Dude, Yo. thank you so much, man, for joining hey, us. Thanks tonight. for the invite, man. Dude, Second, it was a pleasure. This was yeah, fantastic. Come back soon. You were fantastic, my brother. Well, thank you. And uh, you're welcome. You back. look good in the middle. Yeah, I like the center square. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say one thing though. Like I keep looking at that HDK, and I look like he looks like a young Michael Pacta. Ah. <laughs> I'm like, look at that. I'm like, oh, it's Michael Pacta. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't it, you it don't like... you put that voodoo on him. No, that's a. I, I want his predictions. Uh, he gets things. Yeah, yeah. He, Peter gets things right occasionally. So yeah. because I, I'm looking, and I'm like, whoa! I'm like, like one of those uh, sifted yeah. videos. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, thank you. Yeah, no. Ha- thanks for coming on, and uh, you did bring some great, um, some great insight to the podcast tonight. We really appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Um, Anytime. To our chat room. Guys, I don't even know what to say. The chat room was just so great tonight, just so live. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, even some guys that that kind of linger and listen uh, don't get a chance to um, you know to to hang with us because they just saw Magnetic Storm. Uh, he must have been checking it in the background. And uh, uh, but I mean, you know, this is this is what it's all about. And uh, to our new guys, hopefully you'll come back again, Arthur. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, you know, uh, our friends from Tick and from ILP, uh, Lord Cognito, thank you guys so much for being part of our show tonight. And uh, as you know, come chat with us live because, as you can see here, you are part of our show. So, Peter, Nathan, Juan, another great another great episode down. Thank you, guys. Yep. Yeah, and, that's uh, good. We're going to get out of here so Juan can get to sleep. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have a new ride next time yeah we need pictures of that too yep so all right well from all of us here at next level gaming thank you guys so much we'll see you next week play on gamers game on hey man peace video game